all comes down to this. Hours upon hours of podcasting, of discussions, and we have two final awards to go this week. It is God is a Geek's Game of the Year 2018 deliberation shows. My name is Adam Cook and I'm joined by Adam Carroll. How are you? Gary Bailey. Hello there. And bringing up the rear, Chris White. Hi. Yeah? Yeah. It's 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 really no serious time. See this is where it's 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 been a it's been a week, chaps. It's been a week. It has. It's been the a, it's been awards emotional. like it's been emotional. Yesterday we gave the awards to best audio, best VR game, and best moment. Go back and listen to them if you haven't. But we've also done best visuals, best multiplayer, best sports race of fighter, best story, best new IP, biggest disappointment, biggest or nicest surprise, best re-release, remake, or remaster. But today it's 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 about looking forward as well as looking back. As is customary on day five, we look forward to 2019. Well, we don't always look forward to 2019. We look forward to next year. <laughs> we always look forward to next year before giving you the big one, the top 10 games of 2018. We look at what is our most anticipated game uh, for 2019. We've got a list of 28 games. Just, yeah, there's not much coming out next year. It's really a quiet year by the looks of it. But before we do that, let's have a quick look back as well again and look at our most anticipated for this year, this time last year, in 2017. We thought that the most anticipated game no shock here, Red Dead Redemption 2. Followed by Yakuza 6, State of Decay 2. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Oh Monster dear. Hunter World and Far Cry 5. That's a weird Whoa. list. Fucking hell. What a weird list. Nice to see Monster Hunter in there, though, Like, and we do stand by it, you know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This year. Right. Are you ready? Rub my hands together. Quick swig of the Peroni. Not sponsored again, but fuck it. <laughs> God loves a trier. Or a tire, <laughs> tends to be the mechanic. The games that we are anticipating for 2019. Resident Evil 2, Devil May Cry 5, Ghost of Tsushima, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, Wolfenstein Youngblood, Control, Spelunky 2, Animal Crossing, Doom Eternal, Dreams, Anthem, Metro Exodus, Days Gone, The Division 2, Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> Sounds like I'm doing the football pause, doesn't it? <laughs> the, the, the Last of Us Part 2, Bayonetta 3, Death Stranding, Halo Infinite, Gears of War 5, Skull and Bone, Shenmue 3, Rage 2, Pokemon, <laughs> Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Dying Light 2, Crackdown 3. And in a no-score draw, Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> um, thing is, a lot of these games, right, we don't actually, we can't, they're kind of in, they've invalidated themselves. As much, if we, had, if, we, if we could confirm they're definitely coming in 2019, they can make this list. That means Animal Crossing Switch has to go right away. And that kills me, because if that game comes out next year and we didn't include it, I will be incandescent with rage. I mean, are, are we saying we have to definitely cut them? Just be. Just... It can't. You can't. You can't be on the list of most anticipated if you don't even know if it's coming out that year. But, so, uh, all right. Let's let's put this another way. There's no way on God's green earth, Death Stranding is being released next year. <laughs> I will. I would agree with you there, one hundred percent. In all honesty, would it be in anyone's top five? No, because it I... wouldn't be in mine. I really want to see what Sony are letting him spunk all that money on. Yeah. Like, like desperately want to know what that game plays. Like, is it a 40-hour open world or is it a... I, I do really, really want to know what that is, but it has to go because I just... The problem I, I mean, have just... with it, though, is yeah. if it was anyone else showing what we've seen, people would be like, fuck that, I'm not playing... But purely because it's Kojima, he's getting away with it. But it sounds like even if it was out in 2019 and confirmed, it wouldn't be on this list. I don't think it would. I, bye bye, Death Stranding. I, oh. I, no, I was just gonna, I, I, I think we should cut it. And I, I think when it was first it's announced... Fine. I, it's I, fine, because the more you talk, the more I can neck this bottle. So. <laughs> I, I, oh, I see it's going I love down nice. Metal Gear Solid. <clears throat> I love the series. Um, and I loved loved... Hideo Kojima. I don't. I don't think it's these constant little teasers at all these game awards and whatever. And like, 
it's just don't do it. I think it's 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 unfair. I think it's a waste of time. I think until you, I'm fine with releasing like a teaser where it's all like video or cutscenes or whatever it is because a lot of games do that. I'm fine with that. It's the fact there's been at least four or five now, bar the last trailer, which did have quite, like what looked like gameplay, but still don't know. <laughs> what is this about? What is this game about? That, and that's like, the thing. What... That, that's the real thing that everyone is just... That's yeah. what it boils down to here. I'm just really fed up of looking at a four or five minute trailer and just going, <clears throat> I, I cannot in any way even like make up what I think this might be about. I, like, and, it's, and that's really just kind of obnoxious in this day and age of like video I games. You're right, yeah. I'm just like, a bit Matt, like, Matt come Matt on. Nicholson was in the trailer like is he actually in it was that just some fucking random thing not connected with the game like what like there's there's no del toro or anything yeah and del toro because was that just was that just was that a (laughs) nod to their friendship is he actually in the game like who fucking knows yeah and like don't get me wrong right if death stranding was released next year i'll be like holy shit i can't wait like i i'm i'm just i'm going to be very excited for it regardless but I'm just so like, really like, just show us something now, and because yeah. it's just pissing me off. So let's let's talk about Animal Crossing and Pokemon. We both we know both games are coming. I don't think either are coming next year. Well, Sp- Animal Crossing might, but we have to cut them because we just don't know what they are when well, they're coming. And, and we should probably do that with all of them that aren't that aren't confirmed. Then just so we've cut down this list a bit. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for Animal Crossing. Like Doom, I Doom Eternal I will think be we have to talk incredible. about some of them. But oh yeah, yeah I'm, I'm happy to I'll, talk I'll about say, them. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll say it's fine if we do cut them. If we go, if we're gonna kind of do that blanket thing of anything we don't know the release date for. But but I think we can have discussions because I do think Ghost of Tsushima will be released next year. Doom Eternal will definitely be released yeah. next year. Oh. Last of Us Part Two will be announced for November. We'll get pushed back to 2020. Oh, don't say that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I'd will. be with you on that. I think it happened oh, with the yeah, first one. No, I think they'll do it again. Like I fucking want this game. Now. Oh man, like, I want it in my. I want, <laughs> like, I, I want to cry. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't think it will. I, I fucking love them to say, "Yep, come in November, game's finished." Just, just mm. hang on because it just looks amazing, and it, it's just it will be Feb- February twenty twenty. Yeah, I think I think it'll either be November or or next the, the year after next but like but oh, I will google God. quickly last of us part 2 release date I will say people yeah. everyone's going to hate me for saying it I don't think this game needs to be made I think the last of us could have easily have just been a one off because it was but, it, but it, the, the thing is you've got to make peace with this you've got to make peace with this and say that's fine so don't play it Oh, I will no, play I, it I, 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 I'm, I'm happy that I there's more, my, but I, I might not play it cuz I mean I still don't think the first one was as good as people say. Oh, all right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I think that has to go. As excited as we are, and we have to acknowledge that if it was a list of most anticipated uh, anticipated announced games, sure. Mm. Bayonetta 3 has no release date. Halo Infinite, I don't think, will be next year. I think Gears no. of War 5 is next year. I don't think they'll release a Halo and a Gears the same year. No. I don't know. Because it's been, it's been a while. It's been longer since... I, I think I'm right. Longer since Halo 5 than it was Gears 4. But Halo is like it is the Xbox franchise, yeah. that game. I think... I mean, the, the problem I have with Infinite is... One, we haven't really seen it. We've only seen no. like the in-engine whatever. You might get two, in on some sort of online beta next year. Yeah, two, the thing I, I have with it is... Halo 5 wasn't that great. I would happily... Totally disagree, but go on. No, I mean, the gameplay was fine, but the story was shite. The story was terrible. Mm. And what they did with Cortana just kind of flew in the face of everything they did in Halo 4. It basically made Halo 4 irrelevant. And that, to me, just didn't make sense. And... Turning her into a villain made no sense, and but mm. just purely because of that, I think Halo Infinite he does need more time because I think they need a win with it. I need, I think they need to make sure that that does everything that Halo Five didn't. 
But I think I think Halo on this list wouldn't be in a top five anyway. No. Possibly would for me because I love Halo. But I see. Bayonet I see what you're I think saying. Is the same on this list. Mm, yeah, you can definitely scratch. Oh, I, I am excited for a third one though. But so, oh yeah, like hey, like of course. Which um, leaves yeah. us with well, <laughs> with well, twenty-two before games. We, <laughs> before we start whittling, well, aren't, aren't we getting rid of Doom and Cyberpunk because they didn't I think have Doom dates. will be next year though. But didn't we say if it didn't have to confirm for next year, we get rid? I don't think we can uh, we, have one rule for. I think it's more a case of if they definitely aren't going to be that year. I think if we have a feeling that they will be, I think we can talk about it, I, whether they make the list anyway. The one I want to talk about is Cyberpunk, because that's obviously not confirmed. That's, 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 that's not there next are rumors. year. That is not next year. Oh, I, don't, I don't think it will I be either, but they yeah. are, there are rumours it's going to be June or before June. Really? Whoa. I, just, I, but, I don't think it's going to be anywhere near ready. No. If we're deleting that, then we have to delete Doom and go to Tsushima. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I mean, I'm. I think this should go because we don't know. Yeah, I do. Well, I mean, I do. I do. My list. It, Doom Eternal. If it's if it's. I mean, it. They showed the gameplay and it looks like Doom. Yep. Which that's every, for me. everyone wants that. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna. As long as it. As long as it's not quite as long as Doom was, because Doom mm. was too long. Uh, it, w- it overstayed its welcome Gary, just that little bit. Shite. I no, disagree. I am going to jump in and say I think I, I just don't give a shit about Crackdown 3. Uh, I just don't. I, I, just, I still don't know how to feel about it because it's like if that it's game, still... If that uh, game is being saved because of Terry Crews and his ad not. campaigns, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but the game, it just looks crap. It, 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 like, I can't sit here and fight for that to be on my most anticipated list for what is at least the third year running. Release the fucking game. But this is You've it. Even, I'm the biggest <laughs> fan of that game. I feel like they're releasing it just because Adam's asking for it. But now I'm at the point where it's like, I can't care anymore. Just put that game out. I'm, I'm deleting it. And I don't care what you guys say. Yeah, I, I just... <laughs> I'm even hitting the keyboard extra heavy. <laughs> it just doesn't hit with me at all and I don't know really... How the end result is going to be? The more it's shown, another game that can fuck off. Devil May Cry Five. I yes, know, I was going to say Skull and Bones, but oh I, yeah, Skull yeah, and Bones, both of those. Because uh, Devil May Cry Five, I would have said is on this list until I played that demo, and that I was demo. just like, no, this is right, not let's, good enough. Let's, we're speeding up, but let's slow down a little. Skull and Bones, Skull and Bones cut, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I don't think we know enough of it to be honest. And well, I think we know enough of it. It's, it's Assassin's Creed's pirates, but it's taken out and it'll be a decent game but it's yeah bye bye Kingdom Hearts 3 is an interesting one because that's actually leaked uh, this month somehow a month ahead of its release people have got <laughs> Xbox One copies and are just playing it and like oh wow that's crazy that, that game's not out until uh, mid January um, I think I'm not even sure when it's out mid January I think uh, yeah, yeah. Um, same day as Razzie I think it was well yes I think you're right Kingdom Hearts 3 then I'm not ready to cut this just yet Mm-hmm. I I just I could never get on with this series, so I I couldn't vote for it to stay. I'm exactly with you guys. However, I do. But I, yeah, I, it does look good. It looks good, and I really hope it's one of those games that you can just jump in and play without knowing much. Oh yeah, it'll have to be. It has yeah. to be if if it's coming out on Xbox. Mm. You know, it's not been it on Xbox good. before. It has to have something. I even say- if it's just a. Here's what happened before. You know, I, could, just, uh, I don't well, think you can, can you possibly bridge that, actually. No, I honestly <laughs> think like even if you're playing Kingdom Hearts two and you not played the first one, trying to go over the events of the first game will take forever. I, th- I <laughs> think we have to all agree. Even if you like Kingdom Hearts, its story is bullshit. Oh yeah, it's just one hundred percent bullshit. Yeah, I only played. Even the, the biggest fans worlds. couldn't tell you what it's about. Mm. Are you three going to pretend that you suddenly think Metro is going to be this widespread series that everyone loves and you all nope. like, or are you going to accept that it's going to be another gorgeous game, but it's going to be a Metro game and it's going to be one for the fans? Yeah, because I I yeah. never got I on with Metro. Like I played tw- are, I played twenty thirty three and it's like some it's oh. like the pretending it's a new series and it's, mm. it's going to be a Metro game and that is a very specific kind of shooter. Yeah, they're all right. 
No, that wasn't it first. Not to I, I mean, top five. I was pissed off just with the librarian section in the first game because it was just like the AI was fucked. And it bothered me. It never recovered. So Metro's <sighs> gone. Um, I'm going to say something and I'm wondering what we're saying. I kind of think Adam's going to defend this one. The Division 2. What about, do we want to keep Ori? What the fuck <laughs> oh, are you talking about? I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just wondering. Like, like what about... Fucking... We, hang on a second. the worst thing wait you a, have ever said. Wait, and it's including the things that aren't public. Can I, can I please hear it from the other people as well? Adam? Fair, I've, wanna... I've not played it and I've heard some bad things about the first one. Okay. No, you have not. No one has ever said a bad thing about the first one. Mm, they've said it's unnecessarily difficult. Some of the level designs are a bit mm. dodgy. Oh, that is the most bullshit like, oh, thing this... I've ever heard in my unnecessarily difficult. It's just exactly as difficult as they intended it to be. I, 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 Adam, I, it starts I, I, easy and ends hard. L- like, look, take a sip of your Peroni. Game. Take a drink of your Peroni. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, <laughs> I really, the, the last boss of this game is really hard. <laughs> I was expecting it to be easy. Fucking hell. So, do you want to cut us? <laughs> I am fucking walking out of this room right now. If you if disgust me any further, no, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely not doing this for community. Value. I'm wondering, like, like Adam, you're a fan of the genre, and you haven't played Ori and the Blind Forest. Listen, you are doing a disservice to yourself by not doing it. It is the finest example of a Metroidvania this generation, and. To then suggest that, oh well, fuck the sequel, because one of Gary's <laughs> mates has told him it's a bit tricky at the end. <laughs> okay, I, I, is I, okay, the let's, most disingenuous shite let's I've go ever back. heard. Let's go back to reality here, Adam Cook, because yeah, no, let's leave <laughs> hang on, let me speak. Ori. Let me speak. I literally just text Gary and Chris and said, "Let's say we want Ari cut." Yeah, <laughs> just to see a reaction. Sure. Well, it works. <laughs> Scum. <laughs> Jesus, you like that game. <laughs> you don't know how bad I want that game. That that it's it's number two on my list. Okay. Got it. You fuckers. <laughs> uh, oh, do you know what? Dying Light Two is still on this list, and is that com- that was another one we weren't sure about the date, isn't it? We weren't sure, but Jesus Christ, I'm so <sighs> so. Well, it would be number three on my list. Oh it- man, I cannot wait for Dying Light Two. Dying Light release date. Sorry, Dying Light is coming out in 2019, though this is more of an internal goalpost than an official release date. Techland did mention that the studio planned to release it in some time in 2019 next year. That's from Games Radar. That is that good enough? It's. I think if there's no date, it has to go. If I'm honest. Well, no, but not all of these are dated. Okay. Like, you know, no, I suppose it. Well, I I'd say in, if it's got a thing that. The aim is to release it from the developer themselves. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it stays. I think it can stay. Yeah, I think so too. I'm, and that's I'm from amazed. someone who isn't interested in it. I'm amazed no one's just gone. Show me free. Delete it. <laughs> I, I, I'm I, I know. I, like, I'm not anticipated for. I'm not oh, looking well, forward. Fucking to hang on. Hang. Wait a fucking <laughs> second. Wait a second. You got trigger happy here, Adam Cook. Get back. <laughs> Um, I'm going to argue with, with, with Shenmue because I know Chris is like obviously going to go for that but I am intrigued I am intrigued as to what they're going to do with this game I, After I think s- they're going to fuck it they're probably going to fuck it man they're going to fuck the, the thing, legacy of this, Shenmue but the thing is right if they come out and they do a whole <laughs> if they pull a deadly premonition on it where it's so shit it's by great fuck, by fuck the legacy do you mean they'll make the first good one <laughs> <laughs> do you know what go fuck yourself I was with I you with Ori I love the first story Peroni's you've got a lovely it. beer in it Peroni's a lovely beer in it they're not our sponsor but they should be the only way they can um, the only way they can make sorry, Shenmue Chris. 3 a, a, no. a, a strong contender is if the protagonist actually was Tom the hot dog man he was the main <laughs> one from the entire it, game. It, it, in all seriousness, for DLC. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, is Shenmue Three on anyone's top five? No. I'd say it's nah. a, Dan, yours, Chris. Is that because you're not? Mate, I'll you be don't honest. Think it will be I, as good. I've said before, like when they announced it, I was, I was have, so happy. Yeah. And then the the Kickstarter came about. I was like, awesome. And then it just became. Uh, like the first game cost like a hundred million dollars to make. Jesus. How are they going to make a, a fantastic sequel in in eighteen years later to the caliber of that? 
Um, yeah. And the, the 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 kind of goals that they were like, once we hit this many, this much money, we'll, we'll release a new type of tree. Once we release, <laughs> once we get to this oh, kind of money, God, we, we release that. like and it's like the fucking the most. I don't care. Like just there shut up. Got- if, Go if, away and make the game, but no, it's become this. It's, people are jaded, and I, 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 I backed it and, and mm. stopped backing it once this started wow. to come out. That's 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 really that's, unfortunate to hear, man. Like, yeah. I, I, but like, I've always got the first one, and, and what I think of that, like that'll never change. You'll never, yeah, yeah. But I just feel that they've fucked fucked it by by releasing a third. And yeah, like, I'd love I'd love to be wrong, but I don't think I'm gonna be. Well, I've deleted it off the list, and I'm going to ask a question. Mm-hmm. How, how's Days Gone still on here? Because it's no. in my top five. Ooh. Mm, now, the thing with Days Gone, I was going to bring this up next as well, and I have to say, when they initially showed us that full like yep. gameplay trailer... The zombie onslaught. ...on the bike and stuff, I was like, okay, this actually looks quite good. I was like, I'm into it. And then they showed us another gameplay trailer and it just all of a sudden looked really shit. I don't know why. I, I, I think, I really think the final product of Days Gone is going to be a bit of a mess. The I thing don't... that kind of with this one is the fact that, I mean, I like the honesty, but the way they're like, we're pushing it back from the February 22nd to avoid all the other stuff, which kind of says to me... They don't have that faith in it. And it's yeah, like, we, just... we, we, let's just push it back to a, a quieter time because then maybe it'll sell. Uh, hang on, Chris. Of these 15 games, Days Gone's in your top yeah. five. <clears throat> it's in your top five out of these 15 games. Yeah. Days Gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I've, I'm I've, sorry, I've, mate. I've no follow up. I've like, no follow I, I'm, up. I'm happy for you to cut it because I'm never going to win this. But like, I'm genuinely looking forward to playing this. Like, I'm, I'm intrigued. Re- I'm really excited like, I kind to play of, it. I want to know what it become. So, I the, the first the first gameplay demo looked kind of cool. Um, the fact that there's, you know, the, the thing with zombie games is like even with Dead Rising, there's a lot of zombies, but the threat it's not. It's like they obviously they move they they they're dead so they always move slowly and like we're watching the walking dead there's that there's terror but it's in days gone there's a different kind of fear like there's 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 moments where there's hundreds of them moving it's like i love 20 days later it's like one of my favorite movies of all time mm. and the fact that yes they're not zombies but they're they they're these fucking drugged up in, infected yeah what's it is it like the rage fuck, virus or something like fuck that fuckheads yeah yeah, yeah the, they run at you and that fear is like that's a different kind of fear and that's what I'm, I'm I'm just hoping that they can make the gameplay as good as it kind of like in my head what it could be and like I, I'm really looking forward to from what I've seen like of using the environment against them and, and See, to me it looks a very heavy game like the character looks heavy I yeah no. I mean I don't know if there's enough released for us like no well, I, I, people have played it and it's not previewed well no mm. but like I I don't know because I that, that I never really no I, I, I just I know my own opinion find. but like I like there's there's a lot of games I could cut straight away on here go on go on go on right so <laughs> um <laughs> Ori no I'm joking Anthem <laughs> <laughs> Anthem really yeah what? um wow and what. You yeah. have terrible taste in games. <laughs> An- Anthem can fuck itself. Ori, you- <laughs> Bioware game. No, look, I I just mm, I don't have any kind of excitement of... for me. <laughs> like regard, like Mass Effect Andromeda, I I still I'm hundred percent. I enjoyed that game. Uh, that's that's got nothing to do with it. Like, Absolutely, shit. Anthem, it was. I'm not, Anthem, I'm not fuck lie. you. Uh, Anthem, <laughs> <laughs> just uh, far the sweariest day. Like you know, it's almost like we've had enough of each other's company. Really, <laughs> day five. I'm on the lager now. I'm I'm getting <laughs> heated. This is tense. I um I think Anthem that can go. I'm not this. I can't. I just I just not that excited about it. I don't think there's enough out there to say. Like if it ends up being like a monster hunter brilliant but it just doesn't it just looks like a generic space game i'm, I'm not going to say goodbye to anthem yet like can you pick another one like there's a couple okay. of them here what, what about control is anyone right, thank you gary is anyone now really we're bothered about control 
Like mm. at least enough for it to no. be a top I will, five. I will always be interested in what Remedy develop. I still haven't played be Quantum Wake, Break because I'm just I wasn't that bothered. Quantum Break's a gorgeous looking game and an interesting idea. The execute and it's not even a bad playing game. It's just it loses itself a little bit, and I I'm not filled with confidence for Control because it looks like Quantum Break. <laughs> I'd I'd cut Control. That that for me is of 15 of these games. That's an easy one. I'm gonna. I'm going to say yes to like, control that has to go and then, then I'm going to also add Spelunky in Dreams. I don't, You're an evil human being, Adam Carroll. I am sorry, but there's there's so many other games here that I am so much more excited for. I think you're right. I think you're disagreeing uh, with, with us, but like, there's about eight games. There's so, so many better one games. Of the best so games have to it down. of this generation and but, last generation. But the thing is, when it comes around, I'm going to be like, cool but if you give me that one of those games and then you give me i don't know fucking resident evil 2 i'm gonna be like well you, resident you, evil you 2. aren't fascinated by what derek Yu is, is is doing like you know he he literally see i am spelunky is I his am, thing but... and you're not absolutely fascinated by the guy who decided actually i can make a second one of these no. Like it's the it's the it's the very definition of a game where you're like doesn't need a sequel, but he must know that everyone thinks that. You aren't fascinated by what he's added. It's no. got online co op, hasn't it? In fact, I do not I actually don't know. But like, I am fascinated, but not enough to keep it there amongst these other games that I'm so really excited for. Like, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's let's slow down a little bit here. Are we cutting control? Yes. 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 Okay. Gone. Uh, I'm listen. Democracy. Are we cutting Spelunky? Two. I'm we, n- not excited by it. Yeah, I am. Um, well, I, 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 so. I have no. <laughs> I have no strong feelings for it either way. I'm deleting it, but I want you to know I don't know who you people are anymore. But Adam, <laughs> Adam, I don't know you either because Ari's still on that list. What's that? What's happening there? Do you know. You know, it's number it's number twelve there. If you want to just press delete. Fine, let's one. cut. Let's cut Resi two. <laughs> it's out in January. We know it's going to be good. Let's not bother putting it on our list. Let's not waste a slot on Resident Evil two. There's no need to get mean. Do you know? I'm I'm kind of half joking. I we all know that's the number one. That is the number one on this list. Is it Gary? Is it? Is can anyone really say anything else on that list tops Resident Evil two? Come well, on. Yeah, but you just fucking deleted it. No, I just no. The, the Resident Evil Two is the funny one for me because it is literally out in what four weeks? Less than four weeks? Oh, Three still twenty nineteen. <sighs> yeah, no, I know. But what I'm saying is like it's it's so soon. Um, I almost feel like we're wasting a slot because there will be people listening to this podcast and it's out. Yeah, but... and it just feels. I know, listen. I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying it feels a bit funny. Yeah, Do you know what? I, I every time. This... I think Sorry, we're guys, all agreed, though, that it's... I think surely we're all agreed that that's the top slot of this. I Does... don't know if I am. Really? Ooh. But the, the only reason is because I've played quite a lot of it already. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> yeah, I know it'll be yeah, good. good point. And I'm not, like, it's, I'm not anticipating... I'm like, I, I can't wait to play it, but I know it'll be good because it, it is good from what I've played. It is good. You've there played, are games yeah, where you played five I hours of it now, haven't you? touched a single bit of it, but, like, I can't wait to play like Rage Two, right? To anyone, it looks like a. If you don't know much about the developers or whatnot, you think it's just like typical kind of first-person post-apocalyptic whatever. But this is by the guys who did like they did Doom. They just is it just cause and um, Mad Max. M- Mad Max. Yeah. Like they've they've got the scope and they've got like if the gameplay follows follows through like the Doom did. Like fuck me, that this could be so. <coughs> I, awesome. I, I, I think Rage 2 is going to be a belter. Um, mm. I really hold the first one up very highly. Um, Same. M- mainly because of its like actual combat. Like The, the, the weapons were so cool. Like, they felt so powerful. And was it, it was, was wing sticks? Was it called something like that? The, the yeah, yeah. You they, were, they were just ridiculously fun. Like, to use. The story goes absolutely bananas it does like there's no denying that the ending of rage one is just like what but it's so enjoyable and i think what if i wanted a rage sequel from what i've seen so far this is exactly the way i wanted to go 
Like it, it, it would really be in you guys' top five. It would be in my I top five. It, I think it would. Yeah. I think of this list quite possibly. Yep. I mean, no. Are we? Are we? Are we keeping Devil May Cry Five? Really? No. I didn't play I... the demo, but guys, you didn't like it at all, did you? No. It's just. No, I, I don't think it needs to be here. It, I mean, it's Shame. not even just because it's like because I think some people will probably be thinking, oh, we don't like it because it's not DMC two, and it's like, and it's, they're right. It, it's just well, <laughs> it's just it's it's not even Devil May Cry four. You know, it's it's just not it's like it doesn't have an identity. It doesn't I, know I whether said it it's... on our podcast last week. I do think it's a poor demo. It's been deliberately cut in a way to not spoil anything, and it's not really friendly to the, to play i i think this is going to be a very good game but it's just a very i don't like the demo i didn't it's think the controls were particularly great though either and it, well we talked about that uh, as well i mean like it does feel a bit floaty in the air and a bit slow on the ground but hmm. i think cut it we're, we're not feeling it okay we're not feeling Chris? it yeah yeah cut it i'm fine with that. i mean i I'd, I'd be happy to admit i'm wrong if it comes out and it's brilliant but i'd love it to be brilliant I, man i'd love yeah. if we could, like if we could all just have another devil may cry game that we just go amazing yeah like and then we can just put the dmc2 story to rest for another while or whatever and go well we got another great devil may cry game but yeah so far people are not impressed um also what i won't be impressed with if i'm honest and this could be controversial amongst all of you but if wolfenstein comes out okay and the gameplay is mm. the way it is. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not into it. I'm not into how hard that game is. It's. I. I. I want to progress in the story. And yeah, don't get me wrong. That's what difficulty settings are for. But I fucking want to play the game the way the game is designed. I always stay normal. That is my thing. No matter what, normal is the always way to go. But normal in Wolfenstein, it's so unfair. It, like you die so much you don't even know when the bullets are hitting you I just yeah, they so, have to fix that they, they have, to fix, have to fix the damage like, I can't I can't like the story is so cool I love the characters I love the just it looks great but when that happens I'm just I've, I've honestly never finished uh, the second one I've never finished because it it's just I, I found it too difficult I was like no mm. and if that new if the new one comes out I know people like that there is people out there who love when Doom is ramped up to that level and Wolfenstein is ramped up to that level, but, like, not for me. And if I go to easy and it's still I, fucking hard... I think Wolfenstein cut. Yeah. I think it... I... Have we actually seen anything of it yet? Uh, just trailers. Mm. So, I feel like I've not seen any gameplay. Well, I mean, you have, because it's, it's like a standalone side thing, isn't it? So you know what it's going to play like, same as the other ones. I'm gonna. Um, I think we can call it. it. Yeah. Okay. I think something can be said also. Maybe. Well, not as not as harsh, but the division two. Let's just talk about that for a second. Uh, Hold yep. up. Hold up. Right. So, yeah. I only played the first division this year for a bit. I only I jumped mm-hmm. on division. I jumped on Rainbow Six Siege, and I was like, cool. Siege is definitely the better of the two. I fe- I felt. I love what the division was going for, and I thought it was cool with people online. I, I, I love the looting mechanic, but I kind of feel, and this is weird to say, considering I just said this about Wolfenstein, but I actually want that game to be harder. In the, and that's weird sounding, but the bullet sponging thing, I don't want that in, in, in the division. I want it to be like, holy fucking smokes, like I'm behind this now and I... I know there's a dude somewhere and if he gets me, I'm dead and I'm stuck and mm. I want to use my resources and I want it to go deeper because that's what the game is trying to do. But when you're actually shooting the enemies and stuff, it just, it gets all messy and stuff for me and the bullet sponging thing is just not really as impactful as I want it to be, which is, as I said, really weird considering I just said about Wolfenstein, but <laughs> when it's an online shooter like this, that's what I want. So unless Division 2 does that, which it won't because... Has, has people played it already? Has it been previewed? Uh, I don't think they have, actually. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I, I would just prefer that. It's, the issue that I had with the first division was it shouldn't have had the Tom Clancy name. 
because it's not a Tom Clancy game. You know, like, because Tom Clancy, you put the Tom Clancy name on it, you think it's going to be kind of like, it's really kind of a gritty, realistic military kind of thing. Hmm. Even, you know, sometimes they have some daft plots and that, but, you know, it's it's rooted very much in realism. And then it's like, here's these enemies which take, like, 60 bullets to kill. That's what I mean, yeah. 100 bullets to kill. You know, and it's like, you shoot them in the face, it does nothing. And it's like, that was, like, an issue. I get I get what they're going for, obviously. It's a, it's a multiplayer shooter, like, it was doing the Destiny thing and, that, that, yeah. you know, that kind of idea. And I think... If they'd have took the Tom Clancy name off it, it wouldn't have been as big a disappointment. I I feel like we played different games. I mean, the whole point of that game is it's it's a it's a game about watching the numbers grow. You you know, in, in it's a loot game about watching the numbers grow. That's what the division is. Yeah, and the division the division had some great it's ideas. Just, it's just not a Tom Clancy game, though, is it? That's the that's. The I don't problem. know what that means, though. I don't know what it's a Tom Clancy game means. Like what I would I would argue that only reason any of them are called Tom Clancy is because that name still has some pull somewhere and that they've got the license to use it. I don't I don't. Maybe that's I it. If they, if they hadn't put that name on it, no one would have cared. I I would have cared. I like that game a great deal. Like I just don't know where they're going to go with it. Like I, I like. Well, I think it's 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 it, it again with a lot of us Ubisoft games. It's the the two thing. It's Assassin's Creed Two. Yeah, you know, like Watch Dogs Two. It's it's the it's the thing of they had some really clever ideas that they didn't fully you know score ten out of tens with, but there's enough there that the sequel could be incredible. And I think I think Division Two is. I mean, hey, look, it's on my list. It's on my top five comfortably. I really like the division. I thought I thought Chris liked it too. I thought we played together. Maybe thinking of I, someone else. No, no, no. I um I played it with you, Mick quite a bit um mm-hmm. and then i i went I, I enjoyed what i played and i went back to it after a few months when they added the survival stuff and that's right yeah i just i, I just it, don't I get the it... complaint about the headshots thing like the whole that game's built around numbers and the numbers are higher if you shoot them in the head like the fact that mm. you know i mean if really... i hit someone if i hit someone with the axe in the face of kratos they don't die instantly i, I don't no. you know I, I, no that's I, not I, that's not I, based I, on realism though that's the thing it's like that's the, the thing you see yeah that's what I'm saying. Like Tom Clancy is basically like that name says. This is about realism. It's about military realism, precision. I think that. if you want military realism, go and play Armor. Like I, I, I get what you, I get where you're coming from, but you're suggesting all Tom Clancy games need to live and die by a formula, and I'm, I'm saying that Splinter Cell isn't that. You know, it's in Splint- the last Splinter Cell, you could mark targets with some magic. You know, Red Dead style, paint them and, and press a button and it executes them. I just don't. I don't think that that's a target to paint. Oh, sorry, target to paint. I don't think that's a fair target to paint the division with. Like the division is a numbers game. It's an RPG loot shooter. Like it's. And that's, that's where I that's don't think I'm into. It does. I don't think I'm into it because okay. of that. Okay. Like I feel if they just took away all the number stuff and just made it this like very grim intense online sh- looting game but it is that's what the dark zone is yeah, I, which yeah. is amazing yeah and that's imagine true. what they can do with a second iteration of that like I wouldn't say that I'm not going to like not give it a try when it comes out but it's not on my list and okay. like obviously we're, we're trying to talk about everyone right now like I know Chris's day is gone and he's like top five but yeah, but it's not going to be in our top four. <laughs> yeah, and that's 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 <laughs> right. And I'm really, up. honestly, I'm very shocked that Anthem wasn't doing it for you because, like, Anthem is in my top five. Like, I, I don't just know. don't think I've seen enough to get me excited by it. That's all. But see, like, thing- I'm sure, I'm sure I'll see some more, and maybe the, I'll, I don't know. The problem but with at, Anthem, at point, what they've shown of it for me is that there's a lot of stuff that shows the movement. And not enough showing the progression. Yeah, like and what happens when you're it, not shooting. Yeah, and you're not doing that's what stuff. I mean. Well, that's what they've shown. They've shown a lot of like, oh, you've jumped and you've flown a bit. Now you've flown into war, and it's like, yeah, yeah, but you're probably gonna have me playing this game for fifty hours. So I mean, I mean, I'd, I'd be interested to see what they do with story, mm. considering they've got is it, uh, Drew Carpish in his writing it. Oh, he's right. one of the writers, and he's like one of the original Mass Effect writers. 
Right. And it's kind of, it, it, uh, he's a very good writer. But is this a game that can really do story? Will it do a story? I or will think... we end up like Destiny? No, I don't think we end up like Destiny. But I do think... Oh, I think it will be Destiny. I with don't a better know. story. With the, with the backlash that Mass Effect has been getting and stuff... Uh, they know that like some this has to be solid, and I really think like I know we haven't seen much but the flying around and jumping around the place traversal in general, but I think mm. traversal in video games now is probably one of the most important mechanics I think for a lot of developers. If you think about like when we had Spider Man and stuff, you even on this list we've Dying Light Two, Rage Two, Just Cause is just after coming out. All these games, the traversal is like really fun looking and when I saw Anthem like that opening gameplay reveal that we saw I was like holy smokes that looks like a lot of fun I was I, like that I will looks say, like, when, when they first showed me and started flying like holy shit it's Iron Man it's like 100% you know Iron man. man and like going through the mountains and it, the frame rate seemed really solid like these are all things that we didn't get in Mass Effect like we didn't get this smoothness which is why I'm kind of like holy smokes can we, can we actually get like because like, I love Mass Effect 2 and I only ever wanted mm. Ma- the other Mass Effect games to be like that so now I'm like is this going to be actually my Mass Effect like sequel that I wanted you know um, I know the gameplay could definitely be questionable but I hope the story's strong and I think the gameplay or the traversal anyway is going to be a lot of fun to carry it like I'd be more excited and this is a bit yeah this is a bit of a a whopper this one now but from what I've seen of both Anthem and Cyberpunk, I'd be more intrigued with Anthem. As of right now. Because what I've seen of Cyberpunk, wow. I just... I know, and you've got to hear me out. That That's like, a huge CD statement Project, to make. CD Projekt Red are that company that I'm just like, right, here we go. Like, when Cyberpunk comes out, I'm going to be like, right, this is, this is happening. Because I love The Witcher so goddamn much. But everything I've seen of Cyberpunk so far, I'm like... I need to play it. I can't really say I'm all that excited because there's so many questions I need the answers for. And what people are saying about it, I'm like, cool, at least I can look at Anthem and be like, okay, that looks like a lot of fun. I understand it. I get what's happening right now. That's fine. So I think it is a, it is a good little one to have on this list, I feel. Well, our list anyway in general for all kind of... Like, I wouldn't be throwing it out because of like... I don't really know the like what's our con so far with us. Like what are the major cons that are not? We can't keep comparing it to like Mass Effect. Like we can't be saying like oh it's going to be clunky probably because it looks smooth. Mm. Like a sci-fi game, I love when a sci-fi game is really nailed, and I hope that they know from the backlash that they've got and received over time that this will fix us. That's where I'm like right right on this list anyway. It would make my top five. That we currently have, we have eleven games right now. It would absolutely make my top five. Anthem, totally. I- I'd say put a pin in it, definitely. Um, just just it- delete days, go and get it over with. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, listen, I'm awesome. nothing if not compliant with my orders. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm gonna open up another conversation here, lads. Gears Five, okay? No. I'm not <sighs> saying to, I'm not saying to cut this. I'm just going to say we have to discuss it, but I can't say much because I still haven't played four. I think it has to go, and I say that as the world's biggest, most prominent Gears fan because I just think of this list, which is not my list. It's not making it, and I'll be honest. As much as it's. <laughs> It's a bit of a known quantity. I know what Gears 5 is going to play like. I know they'll make some small additions and I know I'll love it to bits and everyone will fucking moan about it being something or other or that it isn't even trying to be. It, it's not a fight I can be asked with. Look, I'm, I'm, I played the fourth one earlier this year for the first mm. time from start to finish in one sitting and I, I adored it and it it's one of the best of the series. Mm. But like mm-hmm. you said, it's like, what is it going to do? outside of the general kind of gears yeah you know you know and I don't believe and... it needs to do anything more no I, I, but, but no, I still but don't like, think it's one do I, it's... do I care enough to have it in my top five I don't think I do I really like like I said it, it, what do they do from here I think they know that themselves they think I, I just like that they're still giving fans a gears game mm. 
And like yeah. to have, but it's it, it it's going though, isn't it? It is yeah. going, yeah. It's still four games got to be cut. Still four games to be cut. Fuck. Um, I I don't. Uh, yeah, I, I think you guys have said enough. I can't try and fight. I don't think Rage Two should be on this list. Why? I do. Because I don't think it's going to be one of the best games of next year. But I don't think it has the potential to be one of the best games of next year. I think but, it could be great fun in the way that Borderlands is. Ah, uh, I, I don't know, man. Like, the... even as a fan of Doom, you're not. Yeah, intrigued. mate. I, I gave Rage an eight out of ten. Then how can you not be, up, like, really excited for this? Because one? I have a real problem with games that market themselves as how much attitude they've got I have a real problem it puts me right off well, that's this, game, like... it's, this game is trying too hard ah yeah but like so it's like Crackdown and you could say the same about Just Cause like yeah when it, well I, I agree when it's these kind of games that are just insane levels of like just exploding everything off like just, just destroying Mate, I the world I guarantee you Rage 2 will be a really good game that's far too long Far too long, but you gotta think. You gotta think of it, right? When we play, Far, when we played Far Cry Five, I think everyone here has everyone played Far Cry Five. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah. yeah, okay. We can all walk away from that and go, "That's a lot of fun." That was a lot. Like Far Cry games, a Far Cry game was a fun again, right? And I think Rage is just gonna do that. It's just gonna just deliver a shit ton of fun. And I just don't want this list to be full of first or third person shooting games. <clears throat> yeah, but hey, look, that's just like. I mean, Ori and the Ori and the Will of the Wisps is alarming me that it's not bolded. I can't believe how amazing that looks and how much how good the previous game is. I can't believe that we haven't put that in bold, and that's a lock. I really can't. So, on, on a serious note, with Ori, I still have to play the first one, but I know I'm going to love it. That's yep. the thing. I know I'm going to love it. Lose your shit over it. And I know this sequel is probably going to hit the right buttons for people, mm-hmm. but like. I can't get excited because I haven't played the previous one. So play it then. Why I don't I, you play it? I, I, basically, uh, the ones left, Ori makes my five. Okay. Because... Thank Christ for that. <clears throat> dreams. Let's talk about Dreams, right? This has been ongoing for at least two years. Now, mm-hmm. I, I still don't really know what this game is. And we're talking about most anticipated. Like I'm not anticipated because it's been mm. so long yeah, that I, I just play th- it when it's out. So I don't think it really deserves to be in the list. Mm. Like we, we can talk about what it could be and what it what it might be. Well, but no, we like, do know what it is. It is a but, game where you can create your own levels and do. Yeah, but it's, like, it's, I can't it's, be it's kind of. But it's media molecule, man. Yeah, I know, but I kind of like it when they do that, so I can just play the game. They, they are. <laughs> they are doing that still. Yeah. I just I've seen it and I just I don't know I'm not really looking forward to it. Wow, so uh, I mean so I have that, to agree that, with Chris there because it's like it's I like the idea of it, but because I still don't know exactly what it is, it's still quite ambiguous. I can't go. Would it oh, help I really you if I place? found its Wikipedia entry and read you what it says it is? This could backfire. Drastically, <laughs> I trusted Wikipedia tr- for starters. Yeah, I know, mate. <laughs> yeah, I ain't reading that to you. I've got no chance <laughs> if I read that. I'm not saying Dream, it dreams, won't be good. Dreams is an upcoming but, upcoming I... sandbox video game. Um, the game puts focuses on play, create, share, and allows players to create user generated content. Thanks, Wikipedia. Cheers. <laughs> You know, I log in and you tell me that I should donate to keep you running, and when I need you, this is what I get. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way, for anyone listening. It's a valuable <laughs> resource that we should treasure and cherish, even. Are right, we fine. Sekiro. We're no. been avoiding this that. chat. We I was too. Talk about it. I, I, I've been avoiding this. I really, yeah, I don't know how I'm to feel not about this game. Arsed. Who? Hang on, no, no. Did someone say they can't be arsed? I said uh, at this current point in time, I'm not that arsed. Okay. Do you know? Do, do you know what I think? I'm going to start again when there's been a lot of typing. I'm going to Google this a sec. Um, developer, hang on, just bear with me. Hardest game. I, yeah, there you go. So the lot of the, so 
From Software says Shadows Die Twice, Security Shadows Die Twice is even more difficult than Dark Souls or Bloodborne. And do you know what? And I read that. And do you know what that made me think of? It made me think of when all those fucking developers say our oh, game's ten times bigger than Skyrim and it made me just go, well, you can't see, but I've got my middle finger up at the mic, lads. <laughs> like, stop it. Like, Stop this shit of, of assuming that what makes Bloodborne and Dark Souls good is because it's hard. Yeah, it's got that nothing it. to do with that. That's no. the mistake. That's the mistake all these copycats are making. Mm-hmm. That's why you get bad Souls games in the genre, because all the developers out there just think, oh, yeah, just they want it really hard. They forget the thing that ties it together. And Sekiro, marketing it that way, marketing it as, oh, yeah, it's way harder than all those other games. It's like, sure, but um, is it going to be good? And uh, it looks cool. It does look cool. And the fact Activision are there perhaps throwing a bit of money behind it makes me excited to see what they could do. It does But I'm also look very a little souls, bit souls out. I, 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 I mean, I'm, the, I'm a little bit souls out, man. Yeah, I'm honest. No, I think I'm with you on that because it's like the, I, you know, I've, I have played some this year, and you know, the, some of them have been very good. But I, I think... mean, Ashen, I played the other day, and I played an hour of it, and I'm like, you're not even trying. This is just Dark Souls. Yeah, I, th- I think that's kind of one of the things now is like, yes, we we kind of we need that genre, I think. But, but we need I someone think, to take it and do something different exactly. with it. Exactly. It needs mm-hmm. to go somewhere new. Because, I mean, take stuff like, I don't know, the, the first-person shooter. Mm-hmm. You see how far that's come since, like, Doom. You know, the original Doom or, like, Wolfenstein 3D, whatever. It's like, there's so many different types of first-person shooter now. And, yeah, I know they're all first-person shooters. You know, there's the you're still doing the same thing as you're pointing a gun at something and shooting it. But you've got, like, your Titanfall, you've got Call of Duty, you know, the the different versions of that, which actually play fairly differently in some ways. You've got Battlefield, which, again, does something a little bit. You've got uh, Rainbow Six. Look at Rainbow Six, how different that is. You know, Wolfenstein. Then you've got the new Doom. His, There's so much hmm. difference, and like, yet yeah, with this Souls genre, because let's face it, we're just going to call it the Souls genre. It's a soul, the Souls likes. Too many of them are just going, yeah, let's just do Souls. You know, we'll we'll do a new story, a new setting, but the the gameplay, they try and do the same thing, but they never get it right, and that doesn't help. But it's just nobody seems to be going. Let's try it in a new direction. I mean, look at, um, I forget the name of the developer, I'm sorry, but the guys who did The Surge, even that, it's like, oh yeah, but Dick, it's it's Dick, in the future, uh, but it's... Deck 13? Yes, that's it. But it's like, yeah. it's still the same thing. You've not really done anything new. And yet Maybe... you've changed the setting completely, but you've not used that setting. So I- I'm going to propose something, Gary. Go for it. We cut Sekiro... We lock Ori in the Will of the Wisps, and then we take those other three games and we work out what makes that last fifth slot. I would say, because, I mean, I think because of how strongly you feel about Ori, I don't think it can be cut from this list. And I think even, like, any of us that have... Like, I mean, I've not played, <laughs> I've not played the Ori first one. And Ori in the Blind Forest was a truly special game. It released in a year where all people went on about was how Microsoft had no games. It was the second best game released that year, only second to Bloodborne, in my mind, right? And when you're in Bloodborne Shadow, that's not... That's still a good game, right? Yeah. Microsoft failed that game. The game didn't fail it. Microsoft failed it with the marketing on the Xbox One. They then... Failed it again when it was released on PC and failed it a third time when it had its definitive edition. Hopefully, now Microsoft are a little bit more popular because that was right in... I mean, like, like I was saying, Bloodborne was released that year. We all remember how shitty people were about Microsoft that year, the Xbox One. This is this game's chance, man. Yeah. it's it's. I cannot tell you how wonderful that game is. It deserves to be played. I think it's free on Game Pass now. Just play it's, it. And it's you'll sat see. on my PC. Like it's installed on Steam. I'm. T- I still. I mean, I don't know if, if people want to sell us. Like, if they want me to stream it, play it that way. Maybe I'll actually play it. Like, a, I think like I did should. with Bloodborne. 
Like, if anyone wants to let us know and let, let me know. Can I have Ori and the Will of the Wisps in this top five? Please. Yeah. You I'm absolutely saying, yeah, can't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so which of the Division, Kingdom Hearts and Rage 2... I've just realised what Adam said then. <laughs> Bastard, I'm just about... Wait, wait, which of those three is... I think it's Rage 2, based on yep. the temperature of the room. Which, yeah, I would say so. <clears throat> Uh, if it was up to me, I'd get rid of Anthem and have Kingdom Hearts, but that's not up to me. I'd have Division 2. And you'll tell me to fuck off, so... <laughs> I'm kind of surprised Sekiro is gone. I, I, just, I know it's gone now, <laughs> and we've gone past it, but I am quite surprised. Yeah, but there's been a lot of that genre. But that's just a genre. Like, that's just... That's just it, but you know But when what you're mean? marketing it as, as, oh, it's the hardest one yet, that's sort of go... Do, do you even understand why we like it now I'm sort of worried because I don't know. want those games to be any harder like I just don't yeah they don't need it they don't need no, they more don't. difficulty it just needs something new and mm. I don't think adding a an arm that lets you jump and shit like you know well more than you could before. Which See, I, I disagree. Much, doing that would doing that and adding an actual just saying, look, this is a single player game. We're going to give story. There's going to be cutscenes. I think that would have been enough. But it's, it's gone. Listen, it's gone off our list. We need a number five. Well, we need a fifth game. We need to cut. I do. I do think Rage Two seems to be the one. Okay. That... I think so too. Had, oh, that's. Yep. There we go. I've got there in the end. How does that look? <laughs> Uh, obviously, it's not in the right order. I mean, we 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 all we are all agreeing that Resi is the the winner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are we all saying Dying Light is the number two? Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm really happy with Dying Light being at number two. If I'm I, honest. I, I I think that list looks right now. I'm I don't agree with it personally, but I think I'm it actually does surprised look right. you're not fighting for Ari to go up. But there's no point because you it's guys are all hyped for it. Adam, <laughs> Adam, it's it's actually it's the most correct thing you've said. Of this podcast is there's no point. Yeah. There is no point. Is that is that locked? Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could go with that list. I, it's not what I expected. I expected number one, but I didn't expect those other four. I'll be honest. I'll be honest I, I, I couldn't have predicted it, the rest of that list. I would did not think Rage Two in a million years would be on this list, and I'll be honest. I thought I I hoped it would be less shootery. Um, which is why I'm so pleased Ori's on there because it's kind of like something else. It's something different, you know. Mm-hmm. But there we have it. That's that's locked. Fifth place for most anticipated for 2019, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Fourth place, Rage Two. Third place, Anthem. Second place, Dying Light Two, which is the one I'm not sure we'll get that release date, but let's hope it does. And the winner, uh, it was, hey, listen, anyone who listens to this podcast on the regs knows that it was always going to be Resident oh, Evil Two. Regs. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Oh, Street Adam's back on the right. <laughs> Never left, mate. He's always no. here. Um, <laughs> it's time to talk about the best 10 games of the year. But before we do, let's look back one final time to last year. In 10th place was Injustice 2. In 9th place was Assassin's Creed Origins. In 8th place was Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. 7th, Resident Evil 7. 6th was Pez 2018. Fifth was Yakuza 0. Fourth was Near Automata. Third was Horizon Zero Dawn. Second, Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And first place, the winner was Super Mario Odyssey. I'm quite happy with that top ten still. Yeah, that was a good, I'm, was a good I'm year. I'm still sore. Yeah, about I think I had... I think I th- After my I think fucking... You you I poured be. my heart out about oh, Shadow right, yeah. War. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking shat on it. Yeah, well... However... Done, so. Like, there's not a game I'm as passionate about that I I, I, need, I think I'll need to fight for. Not I think really. It's, it's going to be pretty easy. Not easy, go, but then. just... Yeah, anyway, shut up. I'll shut up. No, it's fine. <laughs> Here we go. It's just another big old list, 22 games. It's all down to this. All week it has been basically building to this. The list of Game of the Year contenders for 2018 are Marvel Spider-Man, God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2, Tetris Effect, Celeste... Iconoclasts, FIFA 19, Hitman 2, Forza Horizon 4, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Dead Cells, Octopath Traveler, Astrobot Rescue Mission, Into the Breach, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Monster Hunter World, Far Cry 5, Darksiders 3, Nino Kuni 2, Pokemon Let's Go, 
Yakuza 6, and Pillars of Eternity 2. I think there are some easy cuts to be made here. Yes. I'm I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and say it because I know, I know that yeah nobody else is going to fight for it. So Dark Side is number one. Just Horizon Four, yeah. <laughs> just just cut Dark Siders because I know I'm the only one that enjoyed it, or at least enjoyed it. I that enjoyed much. it. I mean, to a point, but um, but it also disappointed me so much. I'd also say cut Pillars of Eternity too. Because I, I mean, okay. that game is brilliant. And again, I will say, you know, I will say people should play it when it hits consoles. Um, but there are better games on this list. You know there what? Are, like, yeah. Hitman Two has not been in any other. Categories. I know, Chris. I've I've been waiting. I've been silently <laughs> biding my time. <laughs> and, my friend. Like fuck. Like this, what, what would this you really have put it in though? Like, no, I know, but it's but like we don't do a best gameplay category, you know. But then it, it hasn't got a sto- the story's shite. Let's be honest. The visuals are pretty fucking spectacular, to be honest. They are, but let's go back and look at best best visuals. Like, hey mate, look, God I'm not arguing. Red Dead, I just, of Thieves, I just you know. find it I really hard to it. believe we haven't talked about this yet. In oh, all mate, five, mate, five listen, mental. We've done a lot of hours of podcasts this week, right? There's no yeah. secret about that. <laughs> I'm telling you this now. I'll fucking beat Hitman into this top ten. If it's just a war of attrition, and I won't let anyone leave the room until that's in that top ten. Like, if it takes all night, I won't give up. Hitman Two has to be in this top ten. It has to be in this list. It has to be. No, it's a lock. It's, 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 it's a lock right now. I, I'm, I've highlighted it, lads. And you know what that means? We cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, how do I bring it back? There we go. Um, let's. So, before. In all seriousness, there's a few games on here. Nino, Nino Kuni 2 is going to. It's not. It's not. Is it? No, it's, it's not. It's, this, it's not in this no. list. Adam, you're the only one who's played it. I'm the only one who played it, yeah. I, I, I said it the last time as well. There is listeners who I know love the game, but. Look. You're not on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> They're not listeners by the sound of it after this. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's just... Yeah, it just wasn't for me. And I'm the only person who played it. It's gone. This Puff. is easy, see? This is easy. I mean, are we, are we, are we cutting Pokemon? Mm. I think we have to cut it, to be honest. I mean, I have but it, but you... I've not played it yet. But if by all accounts, about... it's not. I True loved Pokemon it. Kind it's of fantastic. Thing. I, it's I fantastic. don't know. I think it was. I think it like it did something. It it appeals. It changed it. It changed it because it incorporated. Let's go into it. And now I know people will, might not be a fan of that. But when you're you've played Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, mm. Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon whatever X and Y, when you're now not fighting the Pokemon in the wild, you're just catching them, and you can see them. Uh, that that takes that could take hours off. Like playing when you you're running around a little bit of grass for for like half an hour trying to find a fucking jigglypuff or whatever. Like the fact that you can just go anywhere and do what you want and find the Pokemon and see them. You can you can go directly for them, and I think that's excellent. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think it, it, it don't think it'll make I, the top ten, but I, I think it has to go. It. But I think really the only thing it's guilty of is is like the same as all of them. It's too easy. I think it has to go, but. I think the the amalgamation of Pokemon Go into Pokemon Let's Go is a fantastic idea. I think the Pokeball Plus works great. It's fantastic. I love that you can literally transfer Pokemon into it and you can walk around and it will automatically do Pokestops for you and stuff when you're using it in Go. I love the fact that... It, I, I think it's a wonderful game. Is it in a top 10 of best games this year? Well, in a year that I keep reading about people saying it's not been a good year, I think it's comfortably 10 better games. Oh, fucking, Which isn't yeah. to say it's I, bad, but I just can't fight for it. I can't. No, not not when you look at stuff like... Like, even like Super Smash Bros. would definitely definitely make the top 10. I think FIFA 19, I don't, I don't think that would make the top 10. I think it did some new stuff, and don't get me wrong, it's the best FIFA in years. And the best football game in well, not in years, but the best football game of this year, definitely. But like, it's still similar, and it's still a like look like 
I can't fight for it when I when I see things that like Monster Hunter. I think that deserves to be in the top ten as well. I think Tetris uh, does. It's like, not, it's, 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 not shoot our load too soon. No, here. no, it's... I'm talking from from my point of view. Okay, like I will fight for other games more than I would do for something like FIFA. Yeah, yeah. As, as fun as it was, like it was great, but yeah, there's there's better games. Yeah, I'm not ready to cut FIFA yet. I'm. I'm going to troll out there and say Far Cry 5. Yeah, that was my next one. The it next was, one I looked at and thought, hmm. It was a fun game. Yeah, it's, one a, of the, it's a really good game. One of the better Far Cry games. It's probably the best, best Far Cry game since 3. Yeah, probably <laughs> that. It, it's 3. Yeah, it was three, 3. 3 is best. Yeah, yeah, three, yeah. yeah. It's the, yeah. One, yeah. the one that everyone talks about. Yeah, yeah. 2 so was the one with the malaria in it. Like, it's not... I like 2, man. Yeah, I like 2. But anyway, all right. I was into 2. Um, 5 was good. But it just fell on its arse with its story. It just... I don't understand why they can't just Also, create. the co-op. They need to make the co-op better for Hope County. Not Hope County, yeah. um, New Dawn. They need to make it so that if you go into someone else's world, it saves progress in your game as well. They need to yeah. make it so that there's a point to going yeah. into someone else's world. I think Far Cry 5 was a really good game. And yeah. it's, I'm glad it's getting a, a little shout, but I don't think it's a top 10 game. No. No, I agree. I think it, it kind of that ending damaged it a lot. I think mm-hmm. with with how it unfolded, uh, and it just kind of undid a lot of the the work you went into to to take the brothers, the two brothers and the sister down. Mm-hmm. Like you, I'm all for surprises, but I just think that was poorly written and a bit mm-hmm. of a shit on the fans' um, time. Mm-hmm. So yeah, for that I think it shouldn't be a. Saying that though, I fucking had a blast playing it. But yeah, yeah absolutely. Then, yeah. yeah, but for that, yeah, get it, get rid of it. Is is into the breach top ten? Oh fuck off! All right, <laughs> <laughs> Adam Carroll. I'm just Have you played I'm, it. No, well of course you. Yeah, if you had, you'd be you'd be championing it. I'm trying to just see the options here because I'm. I'm I'm looking through the games and like obviously look Octopath Traveler is sitting there okay I mm-hmm. know that this isn't going to be in top 10 for people it's of this list it definitely makes my top 10 not, not I think it's too soon to cut Octopath is it I think it's too soon with 17 games on the list to cut Octopath that's 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 fine by me I'm just trying to trying to play the game um like but there's a lot of love for a lot of these like okay I, I have to, we have to go back to Chris for FIFA 19 like he's right like it's he is it's not top 10 yeah, can we again I'm not ready to say goodbye yet I'm just not okay what about Dead Cells top what 10 about, what about FIFA 19 Adam <laughs> Thank you very much. There we go. This is That's really I mean. like, hard because this is really I, hard. I would cut Yakuza Six because I've only played four hours of it. Yeah, no. Nah. But again, you're not going to be ready to go there. Uh, but... Not yet. Not no when. Yeah, not yet. Oh, right. is... Okay, 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 okay. Hang on. I've got one. I think we can mutually agree is an excellent game. But given how much love there is for all these other games, I think we can cut it. Not not in a way where it's like ah, fuck that game. But I think because we've all played a bit of it. We all think it's good what we've played of it, and we wish we had played more. But we can't sit here and say it's one of the best games of the year because we haven't played enough of it. I think we can make an easy cut and remove Assassin's Creed Odyssey. No. 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 I can't. Uh, it's it's top ten. I think I think <laughs> like Odyssey. Odyssey is a game that like I've played. I haven't played a whole pile, but my god, like. I love it. I really love it. I it's actually really good. Yeah. I think the I think the char- the story, the side quests are actually quite enjoyable. I well, the actual characters are quite enjoyable. Um, and I just I don't know. I, I'm really happy playing it, and, and like, and the world is it's, it is so big, and there is like things everywhere. But I'm fine. I'm totally fine with it, and I think it's because maybe my love for it is really like massive because I came into Assassin's Creed Odyssey after just finishing Red Dead so when I went from fucking Red Dead to this and you're like the pacing situation is so different 
And yep. when I jumped into Odyssey, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm really up for this kind of game. Like, your, your horse in Odyssey is an absolute disgrace compared to your one in Red Ditch, you know? Like, <laughs> like your horse is, like, even just the movement is so much, it, it feels clunky when you walk away from Red Dead. But then I was like, oh, I'm so up for it. I'm so up for just picking up everything, losing everything, and just climbing everything. And The horse seems I to kind know. of go against Assassin's Creed hmm. traversal. It's kind oh, of, it's, the thing with it's Assassin's a Creed is that you're supposed to be climbing and clambering and doing all of that. And when you're given a horse, it's kind of like, uh, why? You know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, but I just think, uh, like, I think Odyssey, I think where Assassin's Creed is now in general is really interesting. Like, for a franchise that's been going on so long to, to the point where I, ne- I can't believe that we still can talk about an Assassin's Creed game in a positive manner because... The, the, the new combat and stuff is so different. Now, it, I know that's why Origins got into last year's um, list. But they have kind of improved it in Odyssey. It, it is tighter. The AI is a, it's not, still not perfect there, but they're not as clumsy. And it does make that game... And oh my God, the Spartan kick is so good. I'm sorry, like, but <laughs> just absolutely thumping lads into chests and just blowing them off the mountain is just like that should have been a moment actually um, I don't know it's definitely a top 10 it's a great open world game ok like, fine I, I'm going to say it Gary I love you to bits just cut I'm it gonna say just, it. just tear my heart out now and just get it over with I kind of classed just do it I'm the only one that's going <laughs> to fight for it anyway <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to go through the speech like Chris did last year, and then have my heart torn out. <laughs> hmm. Put up that. Put up that wall, Gary. It's, better, am, it's yeah. better that way. It's easier I mean, that listen, way. Listen, we can cut that, and we still got 16 games. It's the right, next top I ten. I am going to rip <laughs> the microphone out of its socket and walk out of this room, Adam. I'm just trying to see how far I can go with all I th- this. I think I've, I've got an easy cut. In, in the grand scheme of things, God no, of War. I, know I know what you're going to say, and I know what I know what you're going to say, and I disagree with it. Go on, <laughs> God of War. <laughs> okay, I wasn't. I'll, Ast- I'll grunt. Astro- no, Astro- don't Astro-Bot. say it. No. Yes, because look at the rest of them. Look at them. Like th- we've still got a cut. Six games. So is is that what? What six games are they? Because we've got the well. The list there is mental. Yeah, I think. Uh, into no. uh, Yakuza, well, Octopath. Well, we, and that's going to end up being cut, isn't it? Because again, I ain't got the passion. Like I can't do it again. And I'm the only <laughs> one that's played again. it really. That's all. I this, told you, this, a War of Attrition. I told you. I, I warned yeah, you about I, the like, attrition. I'm happy to have Hitman to it. Like I'll, I'll be behind you there. But I just, I, this is a, as you say, God is a geek game of the year. We've all got to kind of decide on this. And Yakuza Six. But we can't have all played everything, man. And Astrobot is. Astrobot is sugar. Well, it yeah, is, but I, it is I when could... you feel down, you go to the cupboard and you have a bar of chocolate, and just for a few minutes, you go, "That's all right, isn't it?" I know, you know. Listen, the world's ending. You know, racism seems worse than ever, and people are homophobic openly, and no one seems to stop them. <laughs> but just for those few seconds, when you eat that chomp or the Twix or whatever your poison is, <laughs> never a bounty, anything but a bounty. You eat that chocolate bar, and you go. That's, it's not that bad, is it? Yeah, five seconds later, you go, oh, it's awful, isn't it? I should probably just... Fucking hell. I should yeah, stop but then I've got, the I've got Super Smash Brothers for that now, because I just have to press a button and then it's on. But, mate, Astro <laughs> Path is... No, I'm not... I'm not it's, like, it's, it's here for a reason, but we've got a cut, so that's yeah. my cut. But I'm saying cut something else. Adam what? Cook. Astrobot, Astrobot, Astrobot or FIFA 19? Astrobot. What, to keep? To keep. Astrobot. There you go, FIFA 19 goes. Makes That's a good, not how makes it works. A, he makes a good <laughs> point, though. It is, it is, because you, you've made, you wanted to keep FIFA 19, then yeah. you, you, and then Chris gave his, <laughs> Chris gave his uh, view on that. I think it should be caught, because, right, fuck off, what, FIFA. Monster Hunter like World it. or Spider-Man? <laughs> Sorry? Monster Hunter World, Adam, or Spider-Man? Ooh. Touché. Which is better? <laughs> Um, it's much like, well, goodbye, Spider Man. That's what you've just done to me. You've just taken Cole, two you, of my favourite games. Can you find your own ways of doing this, please? Um, no, I like your way. It works. It's quick. Uh, it's dirty. No, but like FIFA 19. Like, I, I, I haven't played Astro Bot, but I have heard 
a lot of um, Ad- like only huge, good things. Only good things. Astrobot, right. To the point this where it's quick. like the best best VR game, all this kind of stuff. FIFA nineteen is just another good football game. It is and just Pe- and Pez made our list last year. It did. But it's just another like t- for you to even say like you, you did say Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you were willing to go for it. Like that's that's improved in a way. And I know FIFA has improved too, but it's still just a football game and I don't right, think but Assassin's Creed has to improve they have to or else they get fucking destroyed FIFA doesn't need to not anymore they but will FIFA sell can, FIFA, more copies next, than they need to without even trying they make the choice to make it better but FIFA next year could be shit and then you're yeah, like back, you're back again you're like what the hell is going on like, but that proves that this year is even better all they need to do is just like make a perfect football game and just Leave it, and that's it. Impossible, because that means people have to be happy, and no no one's ever happy. But when you're looking at the list, man, like, to be honest, I'm going back to Octopath again. I'm just trying to see, because we do have to cut. Look, I will make a concession. I will make a concession here. (sighs) Hang on a minute. Just hang on. I've run out of beer. Fucking hell. Um, (laughs) I will say I am okay... God, once I say this, I can't take it back. I will say I am okay with you cutting this game because I played so much more of it last year and that means I personally didn't play much of it this year. I'm okay if you want to cut Dead Cells. Cool. (laughs) Cut it. I I would, because it's it's very good, but I don't think it's a top ten this year. Not on that list, anyway. I'm not saying I'm happy about it. I don't know if I'm happy either. I don't think See, I'm happy. I've already had my heart. On this list. <laughs> yeah, I've had my heart torn out, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> look, <laughs> let, let, let's just try and let's let's change this, right? I'm going to go down this list, and I'm going to say that. I'm not going to see uh, a listener's apologies, but I'm going to say that's a lock, that's a lock. I'm going to say that's a lock, that's a lock. These two are locks. Uh, I'm going to say oh, that's a lock. That. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to really like. <laughs> we're going to have to discuss four, five, number six, seven. Seven. Really? In a minute. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say I think that's a lock. Personally, I don't uh, think as much as it's not on mine. I think that's a lock. That gives us nine games locked. You, you'd want to be locking one. number nine, my friend. You'd want to be locking that good and tight. Uh, at that you'd want to be though, locking number nine, my friend. You'd want to be locking it good and tight. At that point, you, you have to have more support for your game, I feel like. And I'd... <coughs> I would, I'd support it. I'd back him up on that. Over on Tetris. Odyssey. Yeah. Over Tetris. Over... Oh, Adam, you do- you will play Astrobot next year, and you will be so angry with yourself. Yeah, but right now, I if I get you, Odyssey, I'll be I know your taste. You will be absolutely fuming if you let Astrobot go. And I'm saying I appreciate that Tetris and FIFA have to go for this to happen. I, 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 is, I, has I, FIFA honestly, got anyone else back in it? It's Chris, ah. me and Chris. Chris, Chris was willing to cut. Oh, um, I'm. You're making yeah. things up. In the top for the top ten of the year, I would cut it. Okay. See, I mean, he has sense. Okay, I will cut FIFA. <laughs> You're just drunk. I'm not. I really wish it was. This would be so much easier because I'd just be going, rah, 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 fuck it, and just deleting everything and just writing one game's name over and over again. Thing is, though, I. Lenny. Yak. Yak is a. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> all right, right. Well, all right, boy. Oh, God, sorry. Hang on a minute. <laughs> that one was a bit too gravelly. Um, I think Chris's passion I mean, has me thinking Yakuza should be in this list. It's a fucking incredible game. All right. Like, given uh, how, given Chris, how much... Gary, have you played Into the Breach? I have, yeah. And yeah. would it make your top ten? Yes. Come, oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is it? I give what it a about... nine point five. I think I gave it. I think I would have maybe pushed so, for a ten on that one. So you were willing to cut Dead Souls? I Adam. am not happy about it, but I appreciate it's not but my list. Would. Okay. So do Gary and Adam? Do you, would you say Dead Souls goes? I would. Um, 
I think it's a. I think it's like an eleven on this list, maybe. But yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think Dead Cells could be cost. You're, are you cutting it because you think that's one closer to a Odyssey cre- creeping in? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's just it's just Dead Cells. Like I played it so much, right? And I was like, mm. this is incredible. But it did it ran its course for me. I think. Yeah, I think that's fair. That's all. Like I, as a, as I. There was just that one moment where I got super, super far and I died and I went, great game. I'm officially done, I think. But yeah, there's a, there's, it's, there's a skill ceiling, I think, where you get to a point yeah. where you're like, I don't think I'm good. It's not so much I can't beat this. I know, you know you can beat it, but it's, I don't know that if I'm willing to keep going over and over and over mm. until I beat it yeah. and then find the next skill ceiling. That's the thing, because it's one of those games where you'd like, you kind of want to play again, but you can't, you know what? I'd rather go and play this, that, or the other because I've not got the time. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's. I I appreciate that you, it's it's definitely an eleven, I think at least. But yeah. Um, let's let's just talk about Hitman Two for a second, okay? I know, like I haven't played it, and I want to play it, and I know we all like you guys love us. But how much, like, how different is it? Like, is it a really, really amazing sequel? Yep. Or is it just another Hitman game that's it's still really, really, really sequel. good? It is a game where they took every single possible thing that you could improve and did it. But hang on now, right? I'm going to play devil's advocate here and don't say that it's not about that, though, because that's, that's, a, a, that's a poor response. But the story is supposed to be shit. Right? Mm-hmm. To me, game of the year. Like, it's, why couldn't that game have a good story? Like, why, th- why can't it just well, have a good I story? Th- I think they think it's a good story. The argument I keep finding myself falling back on is that people say they know it's stupid because there's the weird dichotomy of the story cuts it. It's such a minor part of that game, but the story cutscenes <laughs> are stupidly serious. But the, And the game's kind of so daft when you think about it that they know I don't buy that I do think the story is poor and I think they need to that's the one final thing I guess that they need to address but at the same time I think it does add to it because it kind of gives it this it gives it the humour I think because there is this over the top serious like oh someone killed my family you know or oh, we're spies that then you go and play it and it's like this doesn't work at all but that not working actually does work it makes it it, it no, I, I, can't, I, I, I can't I, I, envision... I would just say about the story like Monster Hunter World yep. like, that story was just ten times worse shit but the game was in- incredible like yeah, to a point, point it was incredible so I don't think that's. I fair mean, Forza to say Four. About Forza Four attempts a story, and let's just not talk about that at all. But to counter to counteract Monster Hunter, it, it is a, a very fair point, Chris. But to to its defence, right? I would say it's the Monster Hunter game that I've gotten into. So it's it's kind of like all new and stuff to me, and that kind of that's why, like, as a game of the year, Look, it, I, it, no, it I does completely something. agree, man. I but, I don't. You don't need to defend it. Like I'm fully behind this being in the top ten. I was just I was just pointing out stories and like everything. Like Hitman Two works on the what made the first one so great with the the different routes to mm. taking out um, your your targets, but yeah. giving you literal a million ways. Well, not a million, but a ton a lot. of ways to do it. And mm. you can follow the story, but you've got so much more freedom. And there's so many different NPCs around to utilise, to be able to do it, it's ridiculous. And then, not just that, but there's even more replayability by giving you ten times as many tasks in each mission, yeah. which, which range from using, I don't know, using a can of coat to throw at a target, or, like, or going up to a sniper nest. And let's talk about and... the throw animation. 
my god it's brilliant it might be the best <laughs> animation in any game because you can sneak around stealthy stealthy all quietly there he is agent 47 he's not going to give himself away oh, I've got to take that guy out and then he stirs up and he fucking welts a guy in the back of the head <laughs> with a coke can from a uh, long the distance coconut. See, a coconut, coconut, and, coconut and, a general uh, knocks him out like I See, spent one level with a, ca- a tin of vegetables and I hadn't <laughs> really used I think it was like a can of something <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Now, a Coke can or, or a soft drink can, you use it and it's kind of one time use because, as you imagine, you've taken someone out throwing a Coke can, it's, it's gone. But a can of vegetables actually is reusable. I went around a whole map just taking every <laughs> motherfucker out with that Coke can, uh, the vegetable yeah. can from distance. And every time he just absolutely thry- oh, he launches it. Hitman 2, in a similar way to Forza Horizon 4, distills. Everything you love about a video game. It is a video game ass video game. It it's not trying to be some grander spectacle. It's not trying to tell you how to feel about something. It's it's not it's, there's no subtle message underneath it. It is a game ass game. It's all about systems. It's learning those systems. It's exploiting those systems. It's knowing that if you're wearing the right costume. You can walk behind a security guy and stick an axe in his neck and take him out and walk away because no one will see it because, you mm. know, they're security shit. The AI is designed to be some good, some bad. It is. It distills everything I love about video games into the most wonderful, large package of just... It's just... It's sandbox fun. Like, I, 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 I Hitman... I cannot envision a list in which Hitman 2 isn't in the top five be quite honest with yeah you. but do you, I understand like, and the, the fun aspect of it and everything but has it done that much more what, what do you mean like compared to the, the predecessor like has it done yeah like I said they took everything to improve that they could have improved and they did it but like they, still... they, even down to subtle changes like the way in which it tells you or informs you that you're being investigated like even that stuff, the minutia to make the game a better experience. That's why the levels from Hitman One are available in Hitman Two if you get a certain pack, because it gives you a new way of playing those with the mechanics they've updated or changed in those original maps, which are still good maps, but they changed enough that it's like actually I want to play Sapienza again. Hitman Two is ap- yeah. I, well, see, I, I completely game. agree. I I do think that like. Playing him, it is the, these are like well the first Hitman the one before this is definitely the best Hitman game I've played and mm-hmm. the sequel is probably going to be amazing too and I'm really excited to play it but I just feel that it's just not perfectly balanced in terms of its identity and that's where I'm like I like, I don't know about that like you're talking about we, you're talking about talking four or five the, minutes of cutscenes over like a thirty hours of playtime that you'll get out of it. But they are I'm literally saying, motion like, still cutscenes that just progress the story. It's just a little thing in between each mission to give you a tiny little thread. You know, like, you know I, me in story. I would be upset about the story if the story was bad. It's just no, definitely. It, but I always co- wonder, like, if if it just had the gameplay as it is, gameplay is brilliant. And if they whatever cutscenes they had, it was done in like also a comedic way or something because if they try and be very serious I think it would undermine the gameplay I think it would I think it would ruin the joke I think it ruins the joke if you if you if you if you if you pull back the curtains and and blatantly say yeah we get it like this this game does do that like there is bear in mind okay I can't prove this and I haven't seen anyone else say it so I've kind of been saving it for this I had a feeling this was going to be a fight to get this in here right in the last level of Hitman 2 you are in a your mission is basically to kill two sisters okay um and these sisters, I want you to remember this. I want you to remember who published Hitman 2 this year, Warner Brothers, right? Do you all remember who published the first one? Mm-hmm. Square Enix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right no. Now. One of the sisters is a tomb raiding go-getter. She doesn't care about anything else apart from going in and getting the treasure. She doesn't care about collateral damage. Tell me that's not brilliant. <laughs> Tell yeah. me that's not brilliant. They and and it's not it's not the only one. Like they even adjusted how self aware the other AI is. Like you knock out you knock out this guy, this young tattooist, right? 
No, mm-hmm. no, I'll go you one better. You go to the, the high rise building and you you knock out a guy who with a he's like a larger man. He's got a mustache and he's an artist. He doesn't have the same accent as you. And you knock him out and you wear his costume. And everyone just is like, oh, there's the artist. And then someone literally will go to you, did you shave your mustache, mate? And it's like, <laughs> you know what you're doing. And that's not the only time that happens. You know, you 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 basically pretend you're a young tattoo artist who's got a TV show and you to infiltrate a, a base to kill a mob boss or whatever. And it, and, the, and his wife's like, you know, so he's like, man, you look really different on camera on on, on the telly. And his wife's like, oh, oh yeah, but you know they can do anything with cameras. Like, they know, they know how stupid it is. They know it is ridiculous that you can kill a man who looks nothing like you, <laughs> put his coat on, and it's like, oh, mm. it's my, I'm him now. And on top of even that, Hitman himself, forty seven, quips about it. He, he's you're walking along next to him because you've infiltrated him and you're you're wearing a, a, a costume that lets you get close to him and they'll say something like oh you know I, I've been, I'm dead excited to, I'm so I'm dead excited to see this and he will say something like you are dead excited aren't you and it is magnificent how stupid it is like you know, it's kind of like, do you know that Simpsons episode? Uh, no, I think it's Futurama. It's Futurama where, like, Farnsworth, that he brings someone's wife. Oh, oh, you say, you say he's been killed. Oh, he's yeah. Been ri- ripped to shreds, you say. <laughs> and then they repeat it to shreds, you say. It's that level of humour that is so welcome in a game that if you took that out, you're just going around killing people and hitting people with coke cans and smashing them with busts. And Hitman 2 is. If it weren't for one or two games on this list, it would be my game of the year. It is. It feels Whoa, like that's, everyone's that's... doing their best to kill that game, to kill that series. You know, Square Enix didn't understand it. The episodic thing helped it, but it clearly didn't help it sell. Warner Brothers, everyone thought, oh, they've got, they understand it. They didn't. They they sent review code out to select people. They didn't give the game the blanket coverage it needed. It's discounted already. It feels like people are trying to kill that game, and it's a celebration of gaming because it's just so daft, but yet mechanically, excuse me, mechanically so brilliant. It's a wonderful game, and it, yeah, if it weren't for two games on this list, it would be my number one. Okay, you've you've made the argument, Anas. Um, we're still in trouble. <laughs> like. I'm really not happy with Assassin's Creed Odyssey not being locked. We have nine but, but games you're locked. You're the only one locking it. I don't know, it's in, to, to its credit, it's the first Assassin's Creed I've actually got into. And I'll tell you why, Gary. It probably hit a lot of people that way, right? I've played every Assassin's Creed game, and in this one, when Cassandra, we're obviously spoiling now, so. Unlucky in a way, but like this is only the <laughs> opening of the game. <laughs> yeah. But like we've, um, t- we've we've said that we're going to be spoiling the last few days. We can't not really. Yeah, we can't. But like when you're playing that game and you're four hours in, you go, I haven't seen the fucking title screen yet. <laughs> oh yeah. It co- yeah. <laughs> right. It co- it comes up then, right? <laughs> but the thing is, it comes up right after an amazing line, a line where Cassandra basically says, "The wolf is my father." And she's out to kill her father. I thought that was just... Like, Assassin's Creed never really honestly delivered that level of like, holy shit. Like, do you know, like, all right. And then it's just, it comes up the title screen and instantly I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely up for this Assassin's Creed game. Like, that was when I was immediately So here's here's the question, right? If we lock Assassin's Creed, if you three, because I'm not happy to lock that game in, if if, even if it hits number 10, for me, it's not. It's not. I, I would actually prefer Octopath. Astrobot. Really? Or, yeah, I, yeah. I really like Doctor Path. Let's, let's. I, I haven't played I, I, enough of Assassin's Creed, man. Like it, it's it's the one on this list is the most I want to go back to. But let's let's say, for argument's sake, you three all agree in Assassin's Creed locks. I am okay with that. We're losing Tetris Effect. I knew that was going to be a fight for me, and I. I, I I'm never going to get it to where I feel it should be on the list. It's a fight I can't win. Octopath Traveler, I think, is a, is another stronger number eleven. Astrobot, I really think, deserves to be in the top ten, and I think you're going to kick yourself. And Yakuza Six, I haven't played, 
So I'm I'm okay. I can live with that at number ten. I don't personally think it is. I think like I say, there's. I think of I I would lose Yakuza and then I'd lose Odyssey and then I'd lose Octopath and then I'd lose Astrobot before and then Tetris at ten. But I'm not going to get my way. So can we I, need to we need to talk about which games we're cutting here. Can I quickly play some Devil's Advocate again? Right with, with Yakuza six, for example. I really feel that game would probably be in a top ten instantly if we hadn't been like flooded with yakuza games i agree i'd have played and it that's more. the thing about it because it what i played at that in the opening do what i have to say now uh, like what i played a six um very slow starting by the way I, I was i was i was in i was so okay. in i thought it was really strong i thought like like i really want to go back and finish it um but i was really like i instantly clicked with that way quicker than any other yakuza game that's it. I'm not saying it's the best Yakuza game because I know people love Zero, but like the story of Six was so strong, I felt, and I I cared for it. But like I I just want to put that out there because I know like it's it's a big passion of Chris, whatever, and I know Adam, you love it and everything like that. I'm really new to it, but it's 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 kind of it needs to be said because it's unfortunate that like it's not probably going to the top ten, but I think it's just because we've been flooded with them. So. I, I I am up for cutting it, but I don't want. I, it's hard to cut games and just not say something about it because these game, all of these games are like. When, this is the thing when people are saying that like, oh, this year of gaming hasn't been great. You're fucking uh, stupid. I don't agree. Sorry, not at all. I, it's, I, it's I think ridiculous. this has been one of the best years in ages. Just for the sheer amount of quality titles from every level. You know, it's not just been oh, it's massive big hitters and they're all great. It's like. There have been games from small studios that have just knocked our socks off. And there's been think, man, there's been like the is it, they call like the double A titles. They've come in and they've been brilliant. And, you know, it's just there's so much. It's oh, such a good year. But that's it. Like there's been so much, and like I think a lot of people just know it. Just goes to show how spoiled we are with the mm. level of content that is coming out. Yep. And I think none of us expected, like the big ones to be as fucking impactful as they have been, you know? Which is why it's kind of, when you look at Yakuza and you look at Octopath and even Assassin's Creed, I will say that, yeah, they're not, like, we've, we've had these games before, but they're still really fucking good. They're still really good and they deserve credit, like, so. But, like, I do think Assassin's Creed gets locked in. I would be keen in Yakuza going, but Octopath is a very strange one. I'm amazed we're still holding it. Because... I thought I was going to be championing that for for ages, and I I loved it. Like I think it's a great game, but I'm amazed that made you pick it over Assassin's Creed. That's that's the biggest twist ever. Because when I when I spoke to you about it, you were like, "It's it's great. It's a really good game." But you weren't completely in love. I felt with it, but then I whatever I heard you talk about Assassin's Creed. You seem to find a lot of enjoyment out of that. But Assassin's Creed, I just haven't played enough of, whereas Octopath I loved. But I, I would cut Octopath right now. Like but Chris I, and but Gary, you haven't played Octopath, Assassin's have you? Creed. No. I haven't played Octopath, so it's, no. it's not going to be in my list. So that's the... But I, I've, I'm just like... <laughs> Yakuza 6 is... Like, we weren't flooded with Yakuza games when it came out because we, we had two. Kiwami 2 wasn't out but until But there had later. been, like, Zero, and then the, and the, Kiwami. Yeah, but the, like the slow been... start as well. Like, Red Dead had a, a really yeah, slow start. Yeah, but Red Dead didn't have cutscenes from a 10-year-old game, like, and they hadn't redone them. <laughs> but I, think like, it, I don't think it is a slow and... start in Yakuza, Yakuza 6. I think okay. it doesn't take that long until you're not in Camarocho anymore and you're in a completely new area with a brand new story that follows a completely different path than you've ever followed before. And as a character, you were you were a different person this time around. You're you're a granddad essentially. It's just <laughs> it's you you're clearly a lot older and there's a lot of reflection and a lot of kind of being that older person and, and people treat you differently because of that. And I just think like it's an incredible game and I just wish more people would have played it here to mm. the to like more but I understand, and I'm not going to get overly passionate about it, but I did really enjoy it, and it would 100% be on my list. 
but we're, we're a team here, and I think the ones that aren't blocked, bar Assassin's Creed, because again, like I I haven't played a load of it, but I think it's it's a lot. Of, oh, I re- I'm really enjoying it, um, and I've literally just got to that bit where she leaves Kefalonia, um, yeah. and I've just started that next bit, and like I'm already hooked on it. But I'm if I'm choosing between the two, it's Yakuza, but it's not worth the fight, and I'm not. I'm not devastated, and I think yeah, that's it. As far as Astrobot goes, it's not. It's it was never in my top ten, even though it's excellent. Like, yeah, there you go. And Tetris, I'm surprised that's getting cut. But again, look at the list. What do you do? Um, if we cut in Yakuza and Astrobot, I, th- <sighs> I feel Tetris is such a. I feel. We're talking about a Tetris in the game of the year list, lads. Yeah, but it's... Yeah. Tetris. Uh, Are we cutting yeah, Yakuza? But if the... Only if we're cutting the other three. So what? Uh, Octopath, Astrobot, and Yakuza? Or, or... No, like, we've got four games left to cut. Yeah, I think. Well, are we all agreeing that the nine that are bold are locked into well, I, ni- nine of the ten? I'm not, but that's solely well, because what's I'm bothering you. What game's bothering you? Well, they're not bothering me, mate. I just I haven't played them, so I well, which like, ones? Into the which breach, ones? Into right, the okay. breach. Which, yeah, Forza. I'm not even going to argue, not because I know you all love it, but because I know that I would love it. You would, and like yeah. from what I've seen, it's fucking top, top notch. So that's not an argument. The only argument is into the breach, but again, I can't because I haven't played it, and I think <clears throat> I would love it based on what I've heard and what I've seen. So we've got to do it as a as a group here. So if we cut you because six, I think we cut everything else bar Odyssey because at least I do enjoy I, I am enjoying Odyssey, and and both Gary and Adam are behind it. I think that's fair enough. I, well, I am surprised that you've not put up a, fu- a, a massive fight for Tetris because I would have been behind you to a point. I am. I, I think Tetris like, should be I'll, number ten. I think I Tetris been, should be number ten on this list. I really do. I, I think. I think. I think. To into the breach. Or something I think like Assassin's that. Creed Odyssey is number eleven, like the actual real number eleven, and I think Tetris is the number ten. But this is. I don't think it's a fight we can win because it's difficult at this point, having yeah. spoken so much about Tetris, to. to find more words about Tetris Effect whereas Assassin's Creed Odyssey hasn't been mentioned much until today and I don't know mm. lock it yeah, in lock, lock yeah. Assassin's Creed lock it in I'm not I, I can't I, I need <sighs> do I do listen right uh, Han like the the, the lev- like everyone is kind of really into this, this Assassin's Creed like more so than I are they though because you haven't finished they it are. Chris hasn't finished it I haven't finished it Gary hasn't finished it to be fair that's but only loads. because of time yeah it's just like the, that is really so what game did you play to. yesterday Gaz below right not Assassin's Creed oh I'm reviewing and, below so alright and I if you were would you be playing below what did you say would, if you weren't reviewing it, I'd be playing that because I've been waiting five years for it, so that would automatically go above there. <laughs> Chris, what game did you play? What name the last three games you played? Super Smash Brothers. Right, not reviewing that. Red Dead. Um, yep. Celeste. Right. Um, and Assassin's Creed. That's four games, but fair enough. <laughs> no, because I didn't. I didn't count Red Dead because oh, I reviewed okay, it. So. Okay. So Celeste, Super Smash, and Assassin's Creed. I reviewed none of them, uh, but I've all played them recently. I think I'm outvoted. I can't. I can't argue anymore. I, I think. I think. It... How much have you played of Odyssey, Adam? Honestly, hours wise. Um... I mean, not it's, exactly, obviously. Yeah, I uh, probably probably know this stage around 10 hours. And I know. I know what you're going to say. Like You're like, that's only 10 hours, though. But the thing is, I did so much in those 10 hours. Like, so, so much. I saw loads. The, 
I went around, I was looking at the world, I was talking to people and like I kind of got really on board with the, even the, the, the combat because when I had Origins, I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. And I was a bit like, like getting used to it. And then all of a sudden Odyssey was on its way and I was like, Jesus Christ, give us a chance. And then we get it, but I was prepared. I was prepared for what was to come. And I was like, okay, I know the combat situation now. And it just felt that little bit tighter. And then the fact that they put in like Cassandra, because never mind the other bollocks, but Cassandra was there. That that, that weakens your argument, I believe, personally, because that is an option. That's 50% of that game. But Cassandra is so good, man. I agree, but I'm saying... She's so good, and I I really vibe the story. To be fair, I have to say that like the stuff I've seen of Alexios is actually really yeah, good yeah. as well. Okay, yeah, it's look, just look, Cassandra's so, voice actress just nails it, I think. Are you three, as a collective, sorry Gary, I don't mean to cut across you, are you three collectively saying Assassin's Creed Odyssey is number 10 on this list? It stays at number 10, it doesn't climb, it's number 10. Why, but, can't, why can't it climb? Because the other nine have been locked for how long? And we're fighting over four, five yeah, games. I, th- I think I think he's got a point there. I think it stays, but it goes at number 10. Because I do think... I mean, it's having to fight just to get into the top 10. I think that's where it stays. But if we agree, if I will, ag- <laughs> if we can agree that it sits at number 10 and that's where it goes, are we saying that Octopath, Astrobot, Yakuza and Tetris, goodbye? It's 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 really it's really weird because like when you say it out like that, then you're just going oh. Because I know Yakuza is a, it's a strong game. I know Octopad is a strong game. I know everyone's saying Astrobot is a strong. But like this is the thing. But I'm just really happy that Assassin's Creed still after all this time isn't shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a big it's a big it's a big thing for me like because. They, they, that series has been around a while now and I'm kind of like cool I'm still really happy to play this and that's saying something like I it's, think but is that what we're doing like you're I'm, I'm not hearing a yes I think we are I, th- I think yeah I, I want it I want it in I want it in I've, I've, I've said my piece I'm, I'm yeah. going to have to agree but I don't agree but I'm never <laughs> going to get Yakuza in there so I agree for the sake of the majority <laughs> yeah there we go we do a top nine um, okay right okay look at that look, it looks good there doesn't it? it does so I can bold that that's where that is right we got now we got a top ten in no order we got a tenth place yeah Let's, we need to make sense of these and I don't I don't think we should all be shouting oh number one's this just yet because I, don't, I think that's going to ruin the spirit of the show yeah. like I think we need to start around seven, eight, and nine, and work these into some sort of. Yeah. Where are we at? Oh, this is a difficult one now. <laughs> can I can I start? Yeah. Um, because of the time I've had with us, I'm going to really say that Super Smash Brothers goes up in the top five. I was going to suggest number nine. No, Adam Cook. Super Smash Brothers. No, this is, this, is, this is the part we've all been waiting for, I think. We can really dive into these fucking games now and, like, give the view on it. Because I think, like, Smash is still relative. It's new. It is new to it's, us still. It's, it's very new. But, dude, I have put in so much time into Super Smash. And I've, I love it. I love it so goddamn much. Like, like I never thought a Smash game would hit me this, this big. Like, like it's... The, the the fan service is yeah, next yeah. level. The, it's so tight on, on its controls. It's exciting. The online, unfortunately, is still poo. I have to say that, and it's do, really do, bothering me. Do you know me. what? The, the way 8 and 9 are on that list, I would agree with that. You, s- you wouldn't have it in top five? Smash, no, I wouldn't. It's too new. I, I don't feel like I can put... No way. I mean, there... No, there's... Seven, seven games. Like you, literally seven games. I far prefer to it. It's too, it's too new for me. I can't. I, I it's really way like too it. low on that list. It's way too low. I, I just, it's, it's madness to have, what 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 pretty much is, 
even though we haven't had much time, it is the best Smash game ever made. I could, I could maybe go one higher. I could maybe swap it for Into the Breach, but it, purely because I just feel Smash is just too new to me. I don't know enough about the systems. All, all I'm seeing is the the graphics and the fan servers, and I, I don't feel that that makes it worthy of a higher space. Like the gameplay to me is still too new. I'm still learning the characters that I don't feel but comfortable even, going much but higher. But even than trying seven. in things like World of Light, like that alone, I is, don't know how yes, long. It's very that long, and yes, it can very. get repetitive. But the fact that they have so much creativity in each stage is so unreal. It's it's yeah. just like. It's so... And bringing in those RPG elements and stuff. Like, this is just a fighting game. But it's... I've never been hooked on a fighting game this much in my life. Ever. Like, I, I, I honestly... It's the biggest surprise for me this year, is, is how much I love Smash. And I just think, like, Nintendo just don't fuck around when it comes to the, their own branded titles like this. Well... And... I, I will... Kirby, uh, Mario Tennis... Listen, Corby, whatever. He's he's in he's in Marlow Light. He's there. Right? Yeah, he's good in it actually. But I, I number eight, man. I just don't know. It's like I can say I could go man, number seven. Hit, I could go number seven. Let's go Person. seven for no saw. <laughs> just just to see. Right. Okay. Just to see how it looks. Yeah. Just to see how it looks. All right. And I'll I'll come back to you in a round about that. Um. It looks I think right Monster there, Hunter's no. fair. There, I think Monster Hunter's fair. Just because, yeah. like, when did you last play it? It's when flawed. we stopped. It's it's a good game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's flawed. It, it like is that, flawed. The thi- the the one thing that upsets me a little bit about the announcement of the add-on is that that kind of suggests they're not going to release like a Monster Hunter World Two anytime, and that would be a better opportunity to do that because mm. they could fix the online. The fact they're going to just turn this into games of service suggests they ain't going to do that, and that upsets me. But like you get, like you just said, Adam, I haven't played it since then. I, I'll be honest. Mm. I'm going to regret Go saying this. Are you going to say it? I think I know what you're going to say. I say it. I feel a little in terms of how much I like the game and how much I respect. Uh, maybe even in terms of how much the game respects me, I think I'd be maybe a little more comfortable with Monster Hunter at ten and Assassin's Creed above it. It's now oh it's God. in there. Now it's in the list. <laughs> I'm actually I, floored. I I think it should stay the way it is. Okay. Purely because of just how much you guys did enjoy it when you were playing Monster Hunter online. It I know it's not been it burned I, short. I know it's not been for a long time, but I think the same could be said for stuff like Sea of Thieves. You know what I mean? Like we played that we enjoyed that so much playing that. Mm. You know, I mean yeah, I I just think it's the the memories of like how fun you it was. And again it is like it's a team list. And uh, I think that's why it really deserves to be at number nine. I mean, I'm not going to bullshit you guys. Right now, there's one game I'd move and I'd actually be happy with the list. Really? There's yeah. one game I'd move I know, and, then I'd, I and, and, and I'd push the rest of them up oh, and obviously in instead and I'd be happy. Two and five? No. No. Two, two and four. I, three so, and two. So I'd put two... <laughs> Uh, it, it, I put, uh, this is terrible for people listening, but I'd put the game that's currently just in, in, in the arbitrary law order of number two. I'd take that and I'd put that ahead of Smash. I'd shunt the rest of them up and I would be well happy with that. So, uh, uh, like, this is the thing, right? We we haven't really discussed, like, the, like we, well, we have, like, Red Dead, right? I think Red Dead is it's it's been building up for this 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 episode I think because this is now where we can really fucking like explain how we feel about that game because like I'm not going to lie like like as I was playing it I was like I was getting to a, such a stage where I was like dear god this game is so long I was like this is so goddamn long Let and me I get tell I, you about I, Assassin's Creed Odyssey but hang on, you gotta you gotta realize that you're dealing with completely different pacing situations, of course, yeah. and that's that is why it was so long. Like, you, see, but I sense- love the pacing of Red Dead. I I no. I feel like Red Dead sets itself out real early with that pacing, and it's like 
you either going to be down with this or you're not. And I, it's, I'm playing it a second time, man. And I'm not, I think it's more impressive the second time around. And that's ridiculous. See, that game just when keeps I, revealing when I finished, new things. Like when that game was finished, I, went, I watched the credits and I went, all right, cool. I was like, yeah, I was Red Dead 2. All right. And then I went away from it and I was just like, three days later, I think. And I just kept thinking about it. And I was like, mm. Jesus, I, I actually miss hanging out with the crew. Yep. And That's probably why I'm enjoying it the second time. Because it's like, I can just, I can just chill. Like, I, I love Arthur Morgan and I love Dutch. Yep. I think well. their, their relationship, where it leads, everything is so good, right? And then... Like, I really, like, I dislike talking about it because I know, guys, you're, you're currently playing it, like, so I'm kind of still being vague in a way. Yeah. But the, yeah. Like, I'm still going to be vague, but, like, you, both Ed and Chris, you know, like, the epilogues, right? They're, mm-hmm. they're just, like, there's something else. And I know they're not for everyone. But, like, that, that just slapped me in the face with nostalgia. Because it just brought me right huh. back to the to the first game almost, mm. along with the like when it, when when the game is this, it's not that it's tedious, but it's so it's, it is slow. We, we we keep saying this, I know that, but do you know the moment when you're like building mm. in the epilogue? Mm. Mm. I thought that was just hilarious, mm. and the game was it almost felt like it was toying with me. It was like we know you want this game to wrap up, but do you know what? You keep tapping X there now and you build that roof. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck it, hell. And, but I got so into it and it almost felt like a completely separate game again. Yeah. Like the epilogue just feels so separate. I think the first actual, um, I think both epilogues are insanely good. I think mm-hmm. it's just so, like the pacing just really goes for it in a weird way. But like the world, I gotta say, I didn't invest myself so much in the world. Bar, like, greeting people and stuff but I didn't like go off into the, the wilderness and just like fuck around because see that's something I've done more in the second playthrough and I've actually found yet f- like full storylines I missed yeah and I think I did too because I know there's like moments that you can go and like see the the KKK and stuff apparently yeah there's all these kind of things that are in the game and I'm like Jesus that's that's dark like you know yep it, it does warrant a second playthrough um it's, 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 it is in the top three. I didn't even know if it was going to make my top five, if I'm honest. Because I do think the game has problems. And it's foolish to not acknowledge the problems. Because yes, the game is very courageous in what it's doing in ways. But it does show its problems. I think like, it's, 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 I'll never get over the fact you're restricted to running in the camps. I just that can't get over so it. That is so silly. But it's I would also so... count, I would counter that by saying like the story like I forget where I met him now I want to say it was in Saint Denis but I, it might not have been I no I don't think it was I think it was in um oh God what is it in, in chapter three the town near you the one right. where you, which mm. yes I think mm. he was there and he starts telling me a sub story I'm sure everyone got this mission because uh, it's a hard one to miss I think he starts telling me a sub story about oh I've lost my home I've lost my my history, blah, blah, blah. Play, and you and, oh, yeah, I'll go and break into your house that's been, you know, taken over by the bank. And you go into his house and you start finding stuff and you realise, oh, this motherfucker's a slaver. He's a slaver. Did, is this mission, did you find this mission? I, I think I remember mm. you telling, telling us about this on Yeah, on, on I, th- I think I did tell this. I think I had. Um, you find you find out he's a slaver and you, and you then you go to finish the quest. You follow it to the little dot and you, and you basically are like... Arthur is like, you know, something's the best left in the past, mate. Fuck you. And you, you mm-hmm. throw his, like, the possessions you recovered from, you throw them on the fire. And he sits there and he starts crying. And it's he's really sad. And he's not sad because he's lost his possessions. He's sad because he can't be a slaver anymore. And I shot him. <laughs> I killed him. Like, yeah. he was no threat to me. He was a pathetic, racist slaver. He was pathetic. And I killed him. Because... He was crying for the loss of his, not his livelihood, not his life. He was crying for the loss of his way of life. He was crying that he could no longer be a slaver. And it's like, you know what? You're fucking dead, mate. You're, 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 you're scum. You, you, you mm. are, you are, I've, Lenny's my friend. You know what I mean? You'd you have him as a slave. 
You would. Mm. Lenny's my pal. I shot him dead. He fell forward into the fire and it burnt and I sat there and I watched him. Any game that can make you do that, and I don't do that in games. I'm like, I'm Mr. Bloody, I'm Mr. Nice Guy in games. But I was like, no, no, you, you're you dying. Yeah, and see, that's that's one of the strengths of the game. Like, it toys oh, with your feelings that's massively. The and then when it, but the thing is, when it goes that deep and then it fucks up with stupid things like, like, I, I don't understand with the level of detail that's in the game. And I know this is nitpicking in a way, like, but... The level of detail is in the game, and then you're on a horse, and if you choose to take your hat, you don't get an animation of him reaching that for a hat. That is a it. bit just, strange. Yeah. It just pops on your head, and you're just yeah, like, oh, weird. And I think when, when, when the game is striving for such intense detail and patience and everything, those things really stand out. Man, I, I'll think be the honest, controls, I think that's beyond the controls, nitpicky, but okay. No, it is, but I'm not saying that's more than any, but I just, yeah. we have to acknowledge it when it comes yeah. to this particular topic. But, like, the controls, lads, the controls are pretty bad. Like Again, I have read a lot and heard a lot of people saying that. I actually never had a problem with them. And the look, second time I, I, around, I had even less of a problem. 30 hours in and I'm still, by mistake, punching my horse in the face. I never did that once. I did. Like I never punched my horse once. I never shot anyone by accident. Never. Because I don't... And this isn't me suggesting you did, but I was never rushing. Mm. So I never actually, I was just, you know, the, the the only thing I could say about the controls is I don't think they ever explained the um, showdowns, bro, or, you know, like the yeah, I never standoff. I never, I still don't actually understand them, but yeah. I never punched my horse by mistake. Um, I never shot a guy by mistake. I I felt like I felt like I settled into the rhythm that it asked for. I felt like it was like I say. I feel it sets its stall out really early and says this is the rhythm, this is the pace. And I felt like I settled into it. And I just love being in that world. And that's why when I was yeah. like sat there with a million games I should be playing, I booted it up on an Xbox to see what the graphics like. And then I was just in. And then all of a sudden, within a week and a half, I was in Chapter 3 again. And mm. I this time I was growing my beard out because I was like, oh, I wonder what he looks like with a really long bit. You know, and I just, I realised how much I just like being. It's just such a great game to chill out with. And, yeah, and it is. I, I think if it's not number three, it's number two. Like to me, to me, Celeste and Red Dead are joint second. So it's it's where everyone else feels for them. But I just this is where then I think we can move on to Spider Man, where I feel. So I think Marvel I don't. Spider Man's a brilliant game, but I think if you actually want to make an argument that Smash Brothers is a better game, I would be willing to hear it. I think Spider Man is is the best Spider Man game we've ever had, and. Should we never see another game, it will go down in history as the best Spider-Man game ever made. I think it makes a mockery of fast travel and it, its traversal is brilliant. But I think there are too many moments where it forgets that it's best when it's Spider-Man. I especially don't like when the puzzles... that I, I've heard people say, great, I think the puzzles are mundane and not fun. I especially don't like when they start seeping into the crimes. And I think the story is incredibly backloaded. That said, I do agree it's a top 10 game. I do agree it's probably a top 8 or top 7 game, but I just... It... Would you really put it that low? I think Forza Horizon 4 is a better game than Marvel Spider-Man. I think Hitman, I think it's Celeste, Red Dead Redemption 2, and God of War, I think are all better games than Spider-Man. We're talking about the 10 best games of the entire year. And I think those games are better. Again, Smash Brothers, I have the problem of it's too new to me. I can't make that call. Cool. But I do think that God of War, Red Dead Redemption, Celeste, Hitman and Forza are better than Spider-Man. Personally speaking. I, 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 I'm... Yeah, I, I just... I, 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 Spider-Man, I've had, I've had a hell of a lot of fun with it. It would be... Oh, agreed. It would be three for me. But I do understand this is a... Democracy. I think Marvel <laughs> Spider Man Two. Well, I don't think they'll call it that. That, that when that comes out that year, we will be like, oh, is it the best one of the year? I, I do think that's where we again. It's the Assassin's Creed thing. I think yeah. they've they've laid a foundation. It's a risky foundation because I think to truly make another Spider Man game feel unique, they have to take him out of that location. That opens itself up to whatever. You, I don't know that you can do the Yakuza thing of just oh, he's in New York again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, I just, guys, uh, a, a yes or no answer is all that's needed here. Go on. I know it's already to say. Is Spider Man your favorite game of the year? No. But okay. we've already cut. 
Not really. <clears throat> Is that was that really your favorite game of the year? Yeah. Wow. I just I interesting. I loved it. I loved the world. I loved the setting. I loved the okay. characters. Everything. The story. It just it blew me away. Then I'll ask, I'll ask, I'll ask another one. Currently on our list, we, won't, we don't read it out, but where the first number one game is, is would you agree with that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, th- I, th- okay. I think so that... We're on, we're yeah. on. I think that has to be. Yeah, I just need to know, because I know there's a lot of... like As Adam said, like he, it sounds like he's the one who's shitting on Spider-Man. I'm really... Um, I'm not. I just... You're not shitting on I it, but like, feel like I'm when with you. When people talk about that game, they talk about it in a balanced way. And that is not me having to get Chris, not me having to get Gary, because they have an attachment to Spider-Man that I didn't have, and probably do now because of the last movie. But I don't feel people talk about Spider-Man in a balanced way. Whereas the game that's above it on this list currently, I think is actually flawless. Actually flawless. I feel like Spider-Man, there's a lot for them to work on. I really do. I to really be fair, do feel though, there's stuff to work on. I do think you have that link to God of War that we have to Spider-Man. I don't think you can really put that o- over it. I'm not going to mm. criticise. I, I, I don't think... I don't, I don't but, agree with you because Insomniac are one of my favourite developers. I was one of the guys giving Sunset Overdrive an 8 out of 10. That's the people who made this game. I think they're fantastic. I I, I don't think we're talking good. about developers here, though. We're talking about like because you love God of War, you've loved that the character. The I, story I don't think I love it as much as you think I do. Like it's not. It's it's probably one of my favourite Sony franchises, but it's 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 not up there with the um, likes of Mario for me. Or it's, it, I just really I, I, like those games. I'm not. Go- you know. I'm not going to disagree in any way that I I think that is the top game. This year. I don't like. I do, I not mean, my I think personal. Not my personal top game. I think it's a couple of hours too long, um, but I know I'm very much the minority on that one. But I mean, See, it sounds like you're saying you disagree with me when I say the puzzles are a bit boring and like being Peter Parker is a bit boring. I, 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 mean, I don't see, think I, that I is... like. Uh, I don't. I didn't mind those bits, but they they could have been removed, or rather, the puzzle stuff could have. The the Peter Parker bits couldn't. Because that was how they built, no, the, the, like the yeah. story of Dark Ark and stuff like that. It's how they built the MJ All stuff. Right. Let me rephrase it: Do you need to be the MJ? Do you need to be MJ in that game? No, but I think it works. One of my favorite, re- genuinely one of my favorite okay. parts in that game was when you're playing as MJ and Spider Man swinging around. And you're okay, like, okay, but that's that, that, that's the one good one of those, in my opinion. Like the rest did, of them, I, the stealth stuff. The know. problem is that I didn't have any issue with the stealth in this game. So, like, I know others did, and fair enough, you know, I'm not going to criticise that. But I didn't personally have any issue with the stealth whatsoever. Personally, I'd, I'd have it above Celeste. I'd have Forza Horizon above Celeste. And it's not just because I don't oh. like Celeste. I just don't think it's as good as people think it is. It's got some very good stuff, but I think some of the level design, especially towards the end... It just doesn't cut it. I can't. I think it goes against yeah, the story. I, I think the level by design's the, the best by the, since Super Meat Boy. Uh, once you get towards the end, and it's kind of like you're you're on the up. You know, you're you're fighting through. Like you're like this is the part where I know I'm I'm winning this battle basically. And yet it goes. Nah, fuck you. you. You're gonna have to do the hardest shit in the game. It's like, See, that's, that's, that's not totally the way it should not be. How I represent, not how I read it. I, I, I felt euphoric doing those bits because I felt like I had one, and I felt like although they were hard, I knew I could overcome them. I felt euphoria playing those sections. See, that, that's the thing. I know, I know, I'm never gonna win this fight, but I personally think that the parts of that game which are just difficult for the sake of it, they don't need to be. I don't but understand that complaint though, Gaz. Like that, That's I just exactly don't why I'm not even going to bother trying to fight because I just I know well, I'm no, never like going to win it's... that. But I know I know what you mean by it, Gaz. I, I definitely know what you're on about. But... I genuinely don't. I don't understand what <laughs> but... difficult for the sake of being difficult. I just think is it's... When it's a challenging platformer game that's supposed to ramp up all the way to the end. I don't. But it's kind of not for everyone. It, those things, those that moment he's talking about, like people don't really. Not everyone loves that. Like they. They like a challenge, but when the game tries to just be 
way harder than. But this game's like got accessibility options that you can remove. No, the for sure. Like, but that like, to me says that. they knew it was too difficult and went, okay, rather than balancing it, we'll just go. Yeah, you can. You can just turn that bit off if you want. But that to me just feels like it's a bit of a cop but, out rather than trying I, to I balance it. Agree because I never used them once. But to use the word that couple, doesn't mean that it's not I, I, not that way though. Just because you didn't do it, that's that's my but point. I, but I don't know anyone who actually used those. But they're still there if you feel like I'd really like to see this out. But it, I've topped out a bit. You know what yeah. if what if Dead Cells had those options? It would just would it be pointless? No, I'm saying what if Dead Cells <clears> had <throat> the option for you to say like an old fashioned game with cheats to turn invincibility on because I just really want to see what this is all about. I'd say the same. What, I'd what say if, it's still a What if out. Dark Souls or Bloodborne had a mode where you could remove the enemies? Because I'd fucking love that. Just to wander around those worlds. <laughs> just to wander yeah, around those cool. worlds. Really, you know, not be bothered. But just just to go back again, when when, when you were saying, guys, like it's like a bit of a cop out, whatever. Like, if there was ever a time to use that word, I'd be using that in Spider Man because I think the puzzles are a cop out. I think the moments of being, the moments that you are in Spider Man are a cop out because. All I fucking want to do in Spider-Man is be Spider-Man and just <laughs> go so fast all the time. Like, that's all I want to do. And when it restricted that, I was like, oh, Jesus. Like, every time I got called back to the lab, I was just like, no, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go to the lab. Like, it's, it's, it's not fun. It's telling the story. That's the, that's the part. With the, with the lab stuff, anyway. The, the puzzle stuff, I'm not going to try and defend that because I just don't they, think it was that great. It was, it was fine. But that's a huge but, factor. And they don't even have faith in their own puzzles because they eventually let you skip it if you want. Yeah, I mean, so I'd, say, I'd them... say that was a cop-out. I would say that's like them realising that it's, they didn't really need to be in there. I get, I kind of get why they're in there because they're part of Peter. You know, it's, it's showing that Peter yeah. knows his shit. But <laughs> at the same time, he, if he does know his shit, then he should, you know, it shouldn't be like, oh, I, I don't know how to do this bit. You know, See, you know what I mean? It's like that stuff. I do, I do, oh, I do completely get those complaints, but I don't. I, just, I don't I, personally get the complaints over not playing as Spider Man sometimes because it's like it's not really for a long time, and it's just varying it up that little bit. But I just yeah, um, but it's not very up in a good way. I, again, you had different experience to me, but those Mary Jane, nah, sorry, that that that's See, there's a difference between varying up. It's just not fun for me. That just wasn't fun. I didn't. I, I would say exactly the saying. same thing about Celeste. But I, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to try and fight like this. Just, yeah, but the, but the thing is, is Celeste, you're saying win. that's not for you. I'm saying that I love Spider Man, but then they threw these bits and I didn't like. And there's no way around it for me. I have to play through them. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I don't I, see the problem. I don't see accessibility as a negative in Celeste's case. It's there if you want it, and if you don't, like I never touched it. It's nice that it's there, but I do think that it was only there because they didn't balance it out it, as well as it could have done. But, but I think it, I personally think it's perfectly balanced because it just gets progressively harder. That's that's like Meat Boy does. Like he starts off and you're like, oh, this is all right. By the end, if you're in like in the, the, the you know, the, the, it's just bloody impossible. It's not possible. It's actually achievable. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, where's? It? Are we happy with the bottom three, four? I'm happy with the bottom five. See, I'm. I'm. I think Farza <sighs> needs to be in the top five. I agree. I. I think Smash needs to be in the top but five. I, I know. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to battle that one, but like, I I would say that Hitman goes to six, because I don't think Hitman is better than Spider Man. I don't think anyone Oops. could really argue it. I know I haven't played. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I don't think people can argue it because I just think Spider Man so is just think so the Hitman's good. Than... Spider Man, I just don't think. It is. I, I think Hitman's better than Spider Man, significantly so. Do you know what I have to say here? And I know you're not gonna like this, Adam. Into the Breach is pissing me off. Why? Because it's just... I have no attachment. I have no attachment to that game. And I know the concept, and I, but I know I probably won't like it. I, and I'm, it's in... Yeah, yeah I, have, I have to jump in with just, that now. I don't it's like... It's fucking there, and I'm just like... 
You're yeah. annoying me. I don't like I that know kind of game, but I loved Into the Breach. Mm. It's, it's really? got that one more go feel, and you just you just have to play it. It's so good. It's a little. Mm. It's just. It does something for that genre to make it way more fun. Yeah. Because it's just like most of the times, and strategy games, whether it's turn based or whatever, you just you you kind of get bored after a while. Unless you're really into that yeah. genre, you're just like, okay, whatever. But this one, I think because of how short and sweet everything is, like every battle is is fairly short. You know, even when they're big battles, because there's like there's a turn number limit, you you only have X amount of time before you either you can either win normally or you're you kind of you've won like a war and a tri- of attrition and that's it. Or you get towards the like the final bits and then it's like you've only got X amount of time but you've got to have done this otherwise it's game mm. over and then it's you've got to start again from the beginning but you go in going okay i've learned and you know it's not like you're going to be sat there for hours to get back to the end because you can you know you can do it fairly quickly but it's little things like you know what the enemy is going to do ahead of time and then you use your turns to to account for it because it's not just like they're not just going to attack you sometimes they do yeah. but it's most of it is about protecting a city or protecting something on the map and yeah. the enemy will try and attack that but you can knock the enemy and push them across so that their attack will miss or even better you can do it so their attack will hit another enemy you know it's mm. little things like that that just it's just so simple but there's a lot of depth to it and you just you, you just want to keep playing see I, I think I'm just a bit like I'm a bit flustered by it because it's sitting there and below it are two games that I like l- like love I love them and I know Into the Breach stuff as well what blows my mind is that though we've Assassin's Creed at number 10 and that has to apparently like stay there it doesn't really but you know we're trying to do that and what blows my mind is Hitman has made our top 10 and it's it's practically in the top 5. Like, that to me, Hitman is the same argument I'm basically giving to Assassin's Creed. It's not well, doing much. But there's much. one of you and me and Chris are both saying Hitman 2 should be up here. But then there's like Forza Horizon underneath, which I've played loads of well, but you, you, over the last couple of weeks. What I'm saying is we've all played Assassin's Creed Odyssey and only two of us have played Hitman. But I know what to expect in Hitman. You don't. N- like... I really don't think much is is that different. But I'm telling you, I've, I've played it and it is. I'm I'm not lying to but, you because I want it higher. I'm saying that they they made the pin. I don't know where they go for next. If one's for you, like Forza Horizon Four, like that's also tricky because I genuinely am going to say that I think that's the best racing game ever made. It's the best racing game since Forza Horizon Three. Which is a weird I, way of saying I like it a lot, but like you know, I, I, I think it should be top. Five, but I've made my case. I feel like that. I feel like it should be top five. I don't feel like Spider Man should be. I think Spider Man's a brilliant game, brilliant game, and I, I platinumed it. That says a lot about it. I just think it's. I I would yeah. concede putting Spider Man in like, at number six if Fars is above Hitman. Above Hitman. I think so. You mean? Yeah, you, I, I agree. Uh, I think let me show you what. Uh, oh, hang on, bloody hell! Uh, so you're saying? Oh, why does it do that? Bloody Google Docs! You're saying? Yeah, that right? would switch four and five, and Them I too. and I would say, I I'd concede. I wouldn't be yeah. happy, but I'd concede. That. I would I would switch them, and then I would switch. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not I, good I, with Spider-Man. Oh. See, I would be. I would. I would concede to Gary and I would do what you said there but then I would also swap those two round but I don't think I've got a chance in hell so no so I, I think that without revealing too much to the listeners I think 1 and 2 are locked 8, 9 and 10 are locked uh, yeah I, I, fu- I, 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 fu- I fucking can't have Hitman there I can't I would be fine to do 
that oh no hang on that's not right at all yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how that happened I pasted the wrong game I would be happy see uh, I would I would, I, I would swap Spider-Man and Hitman see, I, I would because well, I, I didn't think I'd, I'd have think, I'd ever win that I argument. think Spider-Man's amazing like yeah yeah it's got all these shit parts that we don't like but like I, I had fucking loads of fun just playing it I just just like you get like once you've done the main story you can go back and do everything else and then I just I just love playing it I love playing it more than Hitman and I'm having to succeed I like Forza I've not even touched but it's four so and I get why it's four well it's because like, it's named four obviously we had to do that like we did with Resident yeah. Evil 7 last year <laughs> yeah, that had to be one but like Sp- Spider-Man was amazing and I would probably so spend Ga- Gary, time with it Gary and Chris are you saying Hitman and Spider-Man on this list as you, as you are looking at it we swap yeah Adam I, what I do would... you say to that I would uh, swap them but I'm not impressed with smashes I'm not like, right, look, what, what, what about if I do this? <laughs> what about that? Yeah, I kind of like that. But then, <laughs> see, things, I like that, but I don't want to be like, like you feel, you feel very passionate about it, but I just want to make sure it's the right choice. Because I think Hitman 2 is getting a doing. Just, I think it's got a doing it's since not it was it's released. Getting, it's not getting a doing, I but I just is. cannot believe I'm just amazed. It's not that I can't believe. I'm just amazed that it, it, it came here. Considering what do we do when we just saw Hitman announcing it? We both went. Or Chris said, "Geez, we haven't mentioned any about Hitman." Yeah, that was like, intentional on my part. Do you know we barely talked about it? But we don't have a and category that is best gameplay, best game feel. We have. You could have had best moment throwing a can of vegetables at a fella's head. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's my moment. I can't sell you on a thing you haven't yes. seen or you might not experience if you played it yourself. Like I totally understand. Like, I, I like your passion for Hitman Two is solid. You saying though that Smash is too early. I don't really know because it's not like I don't know how long you really need. But to mate, they've of- already released a massive balance patch. The game is being changed as we talk about it. They still haven't fixed the online, and you're telling me that it should go higher than six as it is on this list. But I okay. What's to say in the next week you don't peter out on World of Light and you go actually this is enough. And most people I know have played like two thirds of it tops. Like let's also not forget we're talking about a game that actively makes it a pain in the ass to do the thing they sold the game on. Everyone's here. No, they're fucking not. You got to spend hours unlocking them. Hours. And if you fail, uh, yeah, a fight but like, them, come on, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna discredit it for that. I am, Do you know, like, because every other fighting I, I game, like... you can just play the characters. Every other fighting game, then... you boot it up and oh, I want to play as Ryu or Ken. Okay, cool, they're both there. Oh no, no not in Smash. I want to play as uh, Lucario. Oh, okay, well to unlock him, <coughs> you have to do this person's fight and then fight with them and then, yeah. and then and maybe in two hours you'll have got him. Maybe, and that's if you win the fight against him. Mm. Maybe it's just me then, but I have found enjoyment out of it because. Within work, I have a lot of like friends in work who currently are playing Smash as well, and I've come in and they've they're like, "Oh, I unlocked blah 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 last night or whatever," and I'm like, "Oh, what?" And I'd be in my head going, "I really want to unlock that character." And, and you might say and to them, "How do you do that?" And they go, "No idea," because the game doesn't even tell you. It doesn't even actually spec- specifically explain how you unlock a character. You can't sit down and go, "Oh, I want to unlock it Samus." Does, it does, in World of Light, it does. That's that's yes, but again, that's if ah, you find them like, on you, the map. You, you see those purple kind of like icons, right, and that but, means it's a it's a let, character. Right. Uh, if you want to unlock Ryu, um, yeah. No, if you want to unlock Samus, how do you do it? Yeah, you're probably going to go through World of Light, come across it somewhere, or somewhere. If not, if not, you you whatever mode you exit out of, you you kind of get like a new foe has appeared to challenge you. Right, and you so randomly get no, that. they're not random. They're and not random. They're not random. I've researched this. They're not random. Every one of the original... Is it eight you can start with or 12? I can't remember. But of the, uh, of the characters you start with, eight, every one of them unlocks a specific character when you complete it as arcade mode. If you then can play as them as, again, it unlocks the next character in that system. Or you can... So say you play as, as uh, Pikachu and it unlocks mm. Jigglypuff. I don't know. I can't even remember mm. off the characters, isn't it? <clears throat> if you then play through that mode again with Pikachu or Jigglypuff, it unlocks the next one in that route. Each of those eight has their own tier to go through. Yeah. That's fucking absurd. 
But like that means you could you not only do you not know those tiers because it never tells you. You could want to unlock character X, Bayonetta, let's say, and have no mm. idea how to do it. And like you just said, you thought it's random. It's not random. There is a set route to unlock her, but it doesn't tell you. Why? Then maybe that's it, but it's not bothering me, though. Like, the thing is, I feel it's almost like winning a prize every time I get a new character. Or I, Like, because if you do those random challenge... Uh, battle whatever yeah you you're in your head going fuck it's it's link it's like i don't have link in my roster i need to win this fight and, and, and what, and what lost... about if you were trying out a fighter that you just tried for the first time what about if you've yeah, you unlocked it, samus it, and it, you've it, just given her a try and then it's oh, a gamble. You challenge it. but that's not fair that's not how you unlock i don't characters. think i think it's interesting i think it makes interesting moments within a fighting game especially if you're playing it on your own like i don't normally play a lot of like co-op stuff and I gotta say, like playing this kind of fighting game on my own, I haven't done this since I'd say Soul Calibur two, probably Tekken three. They're the last two fighting games I just religiously played. Like, but the this... thing I'm saying is, this isn't a, this isn't a character roster of thirty that takes a couple of hours. This is a character roster of seventy four, and they sold it as everyone's here. <coughs> Excuse me, and. I'm not actually saying I dislike the system. It, like you say, it's kind of nice getting a little prize. But what if I just want to play as this person? Why on earth isn't there a, a mode or an option that... You know, think about the poor bastards running but esports almost... tournaments. Like they, they have to get people unlocking all the characters again, you know. But that's literally like playing, I don't know, fucking uh, Battlefield or something. You see a rifle and you have to play 40 hours in order to unlock it. Nah, and you're, it's like just on. going, why can I get that? Like, that's this is where I'm saying, like... This this is an old kind of style of it. Like this, is, I don't know. Like, to get it. I don't know anyone else does it. Like if you boot Street Fighter and want to play as Ken, he's either in the game or he isn't. And if he is, you can play as him. Yeah, but this is like that's Ken. Like like when you when you start Smash Brothers, you're going to get Mario straight away. That's a given, and you get them. But there's all these other characters that you're like, I can't believe I can play as this person or whatever. And and you can't get until s- you luck upon the right unlock. I must admit, I, it, like, I mean, when. Uh, obviously, the whole thing was like everyone's here, as we keep saying. Yeah. yeah. When I when I read I read Chris's review and it was like you start with eight fighters, I was like, what? Yep. You, yep. You, that's no, you know, because it's like realistically, how many fighters these days start with only eight? None. You usually None. have at least sort of eighteen, twenty. So it's like it does se- is- it does seem a little too small to, as a starter group. But if you really want to, you can get every character within one playthrough. Probably a nighttime session of it. You go into classic mode and just play it. I don't and you'll get think every... you could. Not a chance. You, one, 70, there's 70 two, characters. There's one lad I know in work, and he did it. He got the game. He didn't play it on launch because he was doing some exams. He came in two days ago to me and said, I got all the characters. He took all his Switch and he goes, there they are. So you know what he's like, done? He's, he's, well, he's used the, the clock on the Switch he, and cheated it. No, no. I goes, did you do that cheat where you just exit out, whatever? And he goes, no, no, I just play classic mode. Mm, okay. That's a, that's apparently how yeah, some he people says he's done it. it. But, but I, that's yeah. not this, that, this is not about its roster or such, right? The game itself, Adam, like you got to take in, like we both said that we were not Smash Brothers fans, mm-hmm. really. We didn't really get, I'm fully sure you said you just don't get it. I, you don't I, get the hype, and I still don't. Want to, I'm not still not comfortably here sitting saying it's a fighting game. I don't know what it is, but I know I'm enjoying it. And and I think sixth it's place a is really, really good for fun it. game. <laughs> it is, and, and like, like sixth place, it's the sixth best game of the year. I think is. <coughs> excuse me, it's doing really well. I just it, I don't see how it can climb any higher. No, it's not. It's, it's not that like I'm looking for it to climb higher. I just want to make sure that you yourself, because as this is. The God is a geek list. Like, but I haven't had I don't time wanna, like, to put enough time into it to say if I, th- I agree or not. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't mind it being there. I, I'm not, it's, I don't look at that and go, oh, fucking hell. Because I can appreciate what it is. <laughs> but like, I just don't feel comfortable. If, if, if it's a fighting game, if it is, it's like a football game. And I haven't played enough of it to say how I really feel about it yet. That's fair. That's fair I, can't, I just can't. I'm, it's not copping out I just don't feel comfortable saying so I yeah I'm pretty to move forward I, I'm I'm kind of sh- slightly shocked by where Spider-Man is just gonna say like I'm okay with it but I feel like there was like a battle to to, to be started because I thought for sure it was gonna be 
aimed for top three. Not from well, I've conceded Hitman, haven't I? Essentially, and that's that's helped the whole lot. Everyone else, because it's not my list; it's ours, and I, I'm the only one dying for Hitman to be in top five, and it's it's pushed them all up, hasn't it? Are we? Is that list a lock? I'm quite happy with with where my games have got. To be fair, I'm happy Spider Man's where it is because it's my like my top, like well, it's my third top game of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm I'm happy with that. I'm happy with Celeste. Because even though I haven't finished it, I've I've loved it so far, and I love what it does. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've not played Forza, I've not played Into the Breach, so I can't really argue them. But um, and I've not played hours and hours of Super Bro- uh, Super Smash, but I think it's fucking great. But I do think um, it's too late in the year, which isn't you know. It's not its fault. It's not our fault. We we do this. No, they but, do that. But I've spent much more time with other games and found them much more enjoyable for the time I've spent with them. Mm. So I'm comfortable with that list. Gaz? Yeah. <laughs> well, we we all know that I'm not happy with Celeste being where it is, but we also all know that I'm not going to be able to argue it down. So I think the rest of that list is fine. Well, I think it's me, you... And Adam, that have like a game each, probably that we'd rather be higher in some way. Uh, yeah, I think Chris, you, you you are happy with all yours, yeah. yeah I'll be I'll be honest, like God of God of War and Red Dead are the two best games I've played this year, and God of War is the only video game of pretty much bar like we're talking back in the day with Super Mario Brothers is the most perfect video game I've played. Mm-hmm. Like, and once I finished playing that this year. And like we've talked about, I just we we've all kind of felt that lull, and it was it was horrible. Like I didn't want to play any video games. Yeah, <laughs> I was it like, me too. I was so I wasn't. Yeah. I don't want to use the word depressed, but I was so like empty. I, I just didn't because I knew nothing that I played at that point in time would be as good as that. Mm-hmm. Like it was just a masterpiece in every way, and like I knew then it would be the best game of the year. And it, like Red Dead's phenomenal. But I haven't had that same feeling. It didn't break after you. finishing it. No, it didn't break me. I I just wanted to go back and play it. Yeah. Like God of War, I didn't want to go back and play it. I was, I was overwhelmed by it. And like looking back now, that's that's mental how that's done that to me. Like, yeah. And, and that that's why it is the best game of 2018 by far well let's and, let's let's lock know. it let's lock it and read this list and get out of town because we've got another podcast to do next week that we you know we've already pre-recorded but shh um 10th place assassin's creed odyssey ninth place monster hunter world eighth place into the breach seventh place hitman 2 in sixth is super smash bros ultimate in fifth marvel spider-man in fourth forza horizon 4 Third, Celeste. Second, Red Dead Redemption 2. And the game of the year, the best game of 2018. Uh, and I, you know, well, you know what it is. It's God of War. A game I truly believe has pushed the envelope in terms of production and direction. And we've talked about God of War all week in, in one way or another. Um, that's it. That We've done it. That's it, lads. Before, before you quickly, before you wrap up, I just want to quickly say one quick thing about God of War especially on this podcast, especially ending it, that me, myself, I have to say, and I know we could probably all agree that I think God of War is probably, it is definitely one of the greatest video games ever made, but I actually think it'd probably be in my top 10 of all time. Yeah, I think so. I think, oh, yeah. I think, God, I think God of War was just mind-blowing. And I, I, I really can't. If someone turned around and said, no, nah, shit, I'd be like, oh, I, I can't. I can't. I can't talk. I can't talk. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just, I'm so happy that it, it got it for us. And I'm, I'm glad we can all agree on it as well. Like, and I fucking hope that, like, it just cleans up. I really do. It's going to be a tough one, if I'm honest, this year, because I really think God of War, Red Dead, Celeste, and Spider Man. I think the four of them, I don't know, really. I think a lot of people are going to change up their number one spots. Mm. But it's but there we have uh, it. it. Get, get, you know, a week. I don't know how many hours we've done. It must be pushing eight. We're not. We're not done though. Next week we're back with something that's a, just a bit of fun to end the year on. Um, the same crew right now that you're listening to are back for that. That uh, 
yeah listen hey it's done we've done it in advance it took a lot of work and hopefully you enjoy it i don't know if we'll do it again because it took a, a, a lot of work um a lot of work i'm not even comfortable thinking about doing it again for a while but hey it is what it is thank you very much for supporting through the year we'll have a little chat later on like next week we'll chat with you we'll chat with you but um this has been an absolute pleasure adam gary and chris it's been a genuine pleasure uh yeah. I, I love yeah, doing this every year yeah. i'm not gonna lie it nearly breaks us every year not not in terms of friendships in terms of finding the time to do it uh patreon.com slash god is a geek a dollar a month gets you this sort of stuff early and it really helps us it, it you know it boosts us up because it, yeah this is a lot of work it, it sounds like a load of people talking it takes a lot of prep it takes a lot of recording a lot of editing a lot of scheduling a lot of publishing i won't bore you anymore with the ins and outs but it is a lot of work and we appreciate you listening i know there are people who only listen to this you know they don't listen to the regular podcast so i'd ask you to give us a go um as we sign off and say come back next week uh, after Christmas but before New Year's and we'll have a fun little thing for you uh, once again you guys thanks ever so much it's been a pleasure we're all still friends there's been crosswords there's been laughs there's been happiness there's been sadness that's game of the year in a nutshell isn't it pretty much so uh, it's been a blast it's been a blast and it does seem to be getting longer every time hey you know it is what it is thank you all for your support all year we'll speak to you next week or you know whenever you choose to listen bye bye for now <laughs>